still going. That was long. They, does it have long? long? Uh, yeah. I think they're waiting for us to talk. No, well, they <laughs> said talk when it dips down. It didn't dip. Yeah, and it wasn't hey, dipping. Hey. I was waiting for the dip. Dude, hey, do the fucking intro. I got I got a complaint. All right. Hang on. Wow. Do the intro. Oh, hang on. Man. Hey, Come hey I'm, I'm your host, Michael Jones. You're watching Off Topic episode number 227. I only know because I have the name, the sound file recording it. Uh, we got Jeremy, Dooley, hey. Jeff Ramsey, Gavin Free, Jack Patillo. We got some sponsors on this episode. Thank you, sponsors. Blue Apron, Raycon, and also Last Laugh coming out soon. Uh, I feel, I feel like that's pretty good. Hey, what's up to RTTV, all you live watchers and listeners, first members, Jeff, all yours. Yes. Thank you, first members. It's because of you I can be this angry right now. You've supported this. We all appreciate it. Here's my problem. Take a look at this. You see what I got uh -huh. going on here? Yeah. yeah it's it's a oh. You see this? Oh, yeah. you, see this? you know what this button is? It's from the Shorty oh. Awards. It's on this jacket because the last time I wore the jacket was when Bruce and I accepted the award for the best gaming channel like 400 years ago. Mm -hmm. My The reason I'm wearing it mm -hmm. is because Steffi approached me it's earlier today. It's all coming today back to me right now once I saw your jacket. Said, Everybody's going to dress nicely on Off Topic, so can you please dress nicely? And I said, uh, I only wear sweatpants during the crisis. I'm quarantined from nice clothes. I already did the nice jacket bit on Jack's podcast. I don't want to do it two weeks in a row. And she's like, well, everybody else is wearing button up shirts and looking nice. So I not taking my hoodie off because I only wear sweatpants and hoodies. So, mm -hmm. but I put my jacket on over it and all you motherfuckers mm -hmm. look like scumbags. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. okay. You're a hot so here's shirt. the thing. You wear a Jeremy? hoodie. Jeremy, you know how this happened. You were there. Well, so yeah, Steffi was talking a lot about us wearing nice shirts. I said, I don't, I don't own any. I own my Guy Fieri shirt, which is my blue shirt with the flames on it, which I was wearing. Uh, and then I saw Michael in his pink sweatshirt and I was like, oh, that's new merch. Where'd you get that? And he was like, oh, it just showed up at my house. And I was like, wait, I got a package today. Maybe that's new merch. And I went out and I got it and I got the you can do better sweatshirt and put that on. It's and sucked right out yeah. of my mind. Here's what happened. Steffi said to me today, hey, did you see my Slack from yesterday in which she asked us to wear something nice? And I said, yeah, I saw it. We're not going to do that. And then there was God kind of man. a silence. There was kind of a silence, but that was in the group meeting this morning. And she was like, all right. And I went, uh, listen. And then, and then Jeremy made some kind of comment and I go, listen, I, I would love to dress up, but I knew that I think I called you little monsters. I knew these right. little <laughs> monsters wouldn't want to wear anything nice. So I was speaking for them. Steffi, I personally would love to dress up. And then she kind of convinced me to do it. Then I got a new shirt and I totally forgot about it. Also, that, little now, and now we're here now. Those are those are Lady Gaga fans. You That's will true. confuse. Yeah, fandom. they're all fans. No, we're it's, it's the same people. I got oh, very confused by that. I, I'm not dressed smart because I didn't get any new merch sent, and I also didn't know about the dress smart thing. Well, you're yeah, never in the merch. morning meeting, so you don't know anything. That's true. That's where we know. That's all. I don't uh, care. But I'm just telling nice you. Nice one. Thank you. She brought it up this morning and I went, Steffi, I'm going to do that. And then I totally forgot. I also said, I'll wear like a shirt. You went with a jacket, which blew my mind. And Jeff. Well, I couldn't you, fit a shirt you, over the hoodie and I'm not taking well, the hoodie you, off. Well, you were like, I'm irate. And, blah, blah, blah. and I went, oh, I wonder what's this about. The second you pan down your camera and I saw you wearing <laughs> a jacket, I went, oh, I know what it is. Because I couldn't tell you were wearing a suit jacket until you even I just I was just it looked like a like just a regular jacket. Yeah, I, I, I started bracing myself. Uh, and then in you the middle like, of that, Steffi, Steffi said, y'all suck and told we all said we all suck. I saw that. Yeah. That we are Sorry. looking at the chat. I assume that you were maybe thinking initially that I was coming in hot with more Animal Crossing anger. Uh, I had no idea. Funny. But yeah, no, th this one was related to my stupid outfit. Uh, Jeremy, your oh, facial hair looks awesome. That's a good look for you. Don't ever change. Oh. Yep. Yeah, you like Well, so like this was for a video. Fucking... No, it's sure. Not. It's for this video. <laughs> Jeremy well, told me no. today he was going to shave his good face excuse. for off topic and he was really excited about it. I was not you're like, a, you're like a motorcycle right? guy. It's good. Mm -hmm. Keep yeah. Well, I have only had a, a hog, motorcycle. Dude. dude, you should Jeremy buy a, wants to ride a hog. Jeremy wants to ride a hog and I've got nope. one for him. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> hog has different context. Uh, yeah, oh, this okay. is for a video. Jeremy, you'll be soon. Jeremy, he calls it a trunk now. Why? Why Elephant not? related? He said, I'm, he said, I'm calling my hog a trunk. <laughs> What sure. 
I'm trying to point to my girlfriend <laughs> to give me something. In the, there we go. Speaking of Eric, point. Eric has decided that I should be a captain's hat guy. He's going to be a ring guy. He started texting me last night at like nine o'clock, just pictures He's of his face animal. and his hands. He is a weird dude. Uh, yeah, but he, he's, he told me he thinks I should be a captain's yeah, hat be. guy and he's going to be a ring guy. So I should hold on. Yeah, <laughs> baby. So this is my new look, according to Eric Bedore. I told him I even That's got my good. name on the fucking hat right here. The thing about it, I saw that exchange and he said, I told Jeff to be a captain's hat guy. And I had no idea what the fuck that meant. I didn't actually yeah. know that meant you were going to wear a captain's hat. It could mean anything with Eric. I, it, uh, all aboard the SS Ramsey. Set sail for Ooh. ass. Oh. <laughs> nice, dude. It's a good destination. Set sail for ass used to be my aim name when we were. Didn't that uh, piss off your mom? <laughs> no, my mom got pissed off because my other aim name, because Set Sail for Ass got out and I had to change it. So I changed it. <laughs> got out. out. It leaked. <laughs> my aim name, it leaked. Yeah, ass leaked. Uh, my, my aim name after that was Delicious Boner. And my mom, I remember saying, that. Hey, I have, I have a. Yeah. I want you to aim me, and I said, I you don't want that. that. You don't want that. And she's like, no, no, I want to. I want to use the technology. I want to talk to you. And I was like, you're not gonna. You're not gonna enjoy it. <laughs> and then she, I finally aimed her one day, and she was like, Del Jeffrey, and then that was it. No more aim. Was there was, another another was, ass related one? Uh, was there like, my, balls, my balls. My balls. My your balls. Ass. Your ass. <laughs> your balls. <laughs> My ball's your ass. Yeah, I had that same name as well. <laughs> I forgot about Delicious Boner. That was that was yeah, my I remember contact that. with you. Yeah. yeah, Delicious Boner was the one that you blocked me, even though we shared a room. <laughs> you and I were <laughs> in the same office, and you blocked me on AIM somehow. <laughs> somehow? <laughs> that was probably no accident. How do you not see that? I'd type, and I'd look, and I'd be like... You're not getting my messages. It's like, I don't understand. I don't know why. And then we'd look at his block list. It was one name. It was my name. That's awesome. <laughs> you dickhead. Funny. Dude, I'm dude, sure it was, an, it was an oopsie. That's yeah. an elite uh, like privilege. You're the only one on his block list. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. one follow Twitter accounts. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Blue Apron. Want to try a meal but concerned about the packaging? Feel good about your food and your environmental impact with Blue Apron, the first and only meal kit to partner with How To Recycle, which takes the guesswork out of recycling and is committed to transparency and reducing waste. Choose from a variety of chef-designed ready-to-cook meals with perfectly portioned ingredients and lots of flavorful options, all sent to your door with prices starting as low as $7.49 per serving. Blue Apron has recipes for everyone. You can customize your plan with vegetarian, plant forward, and 500 calories or less options. And all meals can be prepared in 40 minutes or less. I like cooking with Blue Apron. I like eating the Blue Apron. I get it three days a week, Tuesday through Thursday. That's my blue, that's my Blue Apron time. I nosh on that. If I have leftovers, I bring it to work the next day. You know, I just, I like it. It's good. It's tasty. I get to eat stuff like pork chorizo tacos or fettuccine pasta and mushrooms. I love it. I love anything that comes with a little nachi. It's called nachi. They're like little little squishy balls. I love them. You can even learn new recipes and techniques that you would have never thought of to try. Blue Apron truly lets you discover your inner chef. Cooking doesn't have to be a hassle. Blue Apron gives you options and makes it easy, taking the guesswork out of dinner so you can enjoy a home-cooked meal. Check out this week's menu and get $60 off when you visit blueapron.com. That's blueapron.com. Blue Apron, feed your soul. So how's everybody else doing? You know, all right. Doing yeah, okay. In there. I was saying this to Jeremy. Um, we're super fortunate that we can still work, you know, because mm -hmm. a lot of people, they're just like either either on like like furlough or like temporarily hiatus or they, they're unemployed or they're stuck in their house and they're working from home. And we're lucky enough where, you know, we've never done this since Achievement Hunter started as far as like big Let's Play stuff at home. We've never done it before. Uh, so it's been a transition, but we're lucky enough that we can still do it. And we're also very fortunate that people are still watching and tuning in and it's giving yeah. something, uh, uh, people something to watch. But like, it is so much more work than going to the office. I was telling Jeremy, like, usually when I go home, uh, at the end of the day, I get home, it's like 5, 30, 6 o'clock or whatever, and I switch into house stuff. Like, okay, what can I do? Do stuff around the house, do stuff with the kids, and then I have, like, a little piece of time carved out, which is, like, you know, watch something or play something, whatever. I look at the clock now for, like, all right, 
time to do whatever I want. And it's eight 30 or nine o'clock at night. And I was just like, yeah. my days are so much longer. Cause every single day is like, okay, this one thing didn't work today. Got to fix that for tomorrow or got to get a new thing for tomorrow. And it's just like, man, it's, it's exhausting. Yeah, it's yeah, I feel not- like I've dismounted everything. Like I've unplugged <laughs> everything several times this week. And then yeah. I tried to add the Phantom to the podcast and I had to like move my desk and shit. And I- I'm just buried in cables at the moment. <laughs> it's amazing how being at home requires like 10 times the amount of meetings and shit. Like to echo what you're saying, Michael, and I'm not complaining because I feel fortunate. Not like, at my all. girlfriend owns a hair salon and her entire industry has fallen off a cliff right now, you know? And it's like, they, they, they work haircut to haircut. You don't, you can't cut hair. You can't make money. It's like, it's brutal. Um, but goddamn, yeah, it's at the end of the day now when I look up and I'm like, oh, I, I should watch an episode of Curb or like throw on the TV and I'll look up and it'll be 10 o'clock at night. It's like th- these are very long days right now. Very fortunate that we can that we are in an industry that allows us to work from home. And I, I do not begrudge it. And I definitely appreciate it. But man, is it, these are exhausting seven day weeks right now. For sure. I mean, and uh, it's amazing how Achievement Hunter almost feels more efficient like during this time like <laughs> I, I, like we have a daily meeting like everyone's at this daily meeting talking about everything we're we doing never, like, we never had meetings before no, no we never did no. now we're doing every morning around like Gavin doesn't come noon to. going what are we gonna do i would show up this. at the same time it's it's wild that we're all in it's the same crazy. spot Dude, yeah. I would never yeah. have allowed a meeting to happen when I was running Achievement Hunter. That's all. <laughs> I, I, Collins influence. I hate it's to I hate to break it to you. It's pretty effective. I actually kind of like it. I kind of yeah. like it. Um, it's awesome. Plot out yeah. the whole day. Who's needed for this, what? Though. Right. Tell you this. You count the meeting as work, right? Everybody's there. Everybody's talking. Matt's there every day before ten. Every single day. <laughs> yeah, That's he's there insane. early. Every single day. Okay. Blows my mind. Maybe we'll find out that Matt is like the hardest worker in Rooster Teeth, but he's an agoraphobe Maybe. and he just can't make it from oh. his front door to his car and then from the car to work. But he didn't know how to tell us. He's yeah, that's it. it. Man. That's the he's so, it's, like, it's, it's so <laughs> it consumes him internally that he just he can't talk about it. I'm it's, glad it's we found the solution. Agoraphobia. Yeah, me too. He's, he's flying on high right now. Someone in chat says, I miss moon balls. Gavin, can you throw a moon ball in your room real quick? Yeah, hold on. I've got my kids play with them. Oh, Oh, you know what? Uh, Oh, (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. Moon bear. <laughs> you know we should man, do. Man, man. There's the gap you never. It's so terrible. I'm putting my girlfriend to work. Uh, you know what we should do. Uh, I was talking about this on the RT podcast this week. I've seen a lot of clever tweets lately. There's the one that's tiled and it's like the Brady Bunch, but it's people handing their dog to the next frame, and then those people pan their dog to the next frame. Uh, we should try to throw a moon ball across frames. We did. Oh, sorry, yeah. idea. We did something very similar to that in Awu. <laughs> yeah, oh, really. Yeah. yeah. Totally unrelated. We we recorded Awu this morning, and Jeremy and Ryan busted out a box of Cheez Its at the exact same time. <laughs> that was the same box. So they came up with that bit that they were gonna. Ryan was gonna throw his Cheez Its to Jeremy because so our windows weren't next to it. each other. But right. it, it was like so they threw it, it like, over okay. Jack's head, I think. It's like go ahead, throw it, Ryan. It's like yeah, very yeah. So then it was the first time I did it was in frame still. So Jeremy I was like full on holding the box and then pretended to catch the new box, and I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> you got two? That's, <laughs> that's awesome." Can you humor me, Gavin? If I throw this yellow moon ball to you, would you catch it and it's suddenly magically green? Maybe. Yeah. Hold on. Let me find. Well, the it's one green and covered in black stuff because it went through the yeah. right because it went through the teleport. Let me find the one I threw. You know, it might take a while because you gunned it. So, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw it to you. Okay, it's all gonna right. come. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Catch it. G- good hands. All right. All right. On your mark. Get set. Go. It's off. You missed oh, sorry. it. Sorry, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> I actually couldn't didn't catch it properly. <laughs> Jesus. And then my mic went up. It's hard to judge distance. <laughs> We're about ten miles apart. It was Let very me throw it back. It was very throw right, it back. All right, cool. Uh, Boo Boo. Hold, hold, oh. hold on, don't throw it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta figure out. I gotta reverse this. Okay. <laughs> just, just walked it into frame. Oh, there it is. Hold on. <laughs> try it. Try it. <laughs> 
This makes for a good audio podcast. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hey. Hey. You're doing it too hard. I was a baker. Listen, this is, this is, these are, these are dire times. That was going cooking. full video. Okay. This is, this is all we got. I don't even know who threw that one. Uh, Jeff, you right, and well, I started a new podcast. Yeah, we did. Thing. Keep, keeping the lights on. Keeping is that a lights podcast on. or is, that a sh- is it a show? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't even know we were doing another one until I think yesterday when it was Jack, brought to yeah. my internet. Jack, I agreed we- to do one test podcast with Jack once and now every Saturday for the rest of my life is uh, tied yep. up in this production. Well, it's funny because yeah, you guys so- did it and Jack was talking about it and people go, oh, you do another one? He goes, I think so. <laughs> oh, 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 he goes, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, and it's like like we, at this point, it's kind of like we put it together, got it up and running, and it was just like a lot of people came together very quickly to make it happen. Hey, there you go. Hey, look and, at uh, them. Look at those then, guys in uh, suits. Yeah, Did look at that. Suits screen? looking sharp. Yeah. No, yeah. Gavin, they're outside. No, that's, that's, no, no we went to a location. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but yeah, and so we were prepping for the second episode this Saturday at four thirty Central. If you're if you're if you want to watch live on RoosterTeeth.com, check it out RTTV. It's do, uh, we do, we we rework some stuff. So, okay, sorry. Is there an agenda this week? Because the complaint I read on our site last week was that it was you and I just patting each other on the back for thirty minutes, <laughs> just just jerking each other off the whole time. Yeah, yeah I think so. I, I think we're gonna have a special guest. Uh, I need to f- ask if that special guest is willing to appear. And then, uh, yeah, and so we have some new setups. We have some new ways of uh, incorporating things, so, some things. And, like, the shots were a little bit odd and different. And so it's like we're working those, getting a little tighter, making it more like a, a, a talk show. So it should be fun. And uh, we, did a, we did a test episode from, I think, you, you, you pitched me the idea. Or you said, hey, come up with something on Tuesday. And on Saturday, we had the first show up. So Hell yeah. uh, now, we've, now we've had another week to kind of, like, add to it and make it a little bit nicer. And so, um, you know, refine, tweak, and, and and reiterate and make it better. So, uh, yeah. So this Saturday, check it out. Keeping the lights on. I'm looking forward to it. Not so much because it's another fucking show to do, but just because it's like an excuse to hang out with you for 45 minutes on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's weird now because like the, the, there's there's no weekends anymore. Like every day feels, I mean, there's just like, it's just a solid week. It just keeps going. Because yeah. I never leave my house, and it's just like the oddest thing ever now. So it's like, oh, it's Saturday, huh? Whatever. And it's, it's just like every other day. So, <laughs> yeah. The Let only reason I need you. to keep oh. track of what day it is is to take the bins out. That's about it. Yeah, that was today <laughs> for me. Yeah, that was, that was yesterday today. for me. Not, I guess Tomorrow for me. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, in general, Gavin. Um, everyone, and this kind of goes to what Jeremy was saying. Was I feel like uh, everybody's like extra working and it's like smoother not smoother but like we're like more productive than ever because it's like the fear of falling behind is like pushing us to like just film and film and film and stream and like do as much as we possibly can and um i feel like that's kind of the whole situation uh at the company like like all departments like firing off so because of you know uh everybody else in the country and out of the country you know, being at home in various states of quarantine or isolation, um, people have been like, like rampantly watching our content. And we were streaming earlier this week. Uh, and this is like yesterday. I mean, it's come up here and there, but yesterday specifically, people were going off about the front back shirt, the stupid idea that Gavin <laughs> had that's come up. He tweeted about it because because a, a fan I think mentioned like I would love a front back shirt. It's a reference from Halo Lasso, right? So so it's very difficult. It's very hard difficulty, a great way to kill tougher enemies, whack them in the back, they die. So Gavin said something in the series where like he hit a guy in the back and he didn't die. And he's like, he's got a front back. Like his back is as strong as his front. Yeah, like so the hitbox is off or something. Right. So Make someone said, sense. I I would wear a shirt that says front on the back. And Gavin brought this up and tweeted it. And it came to me somehow. <laughs> like I got the, being the guy of like, hey, Michael, what do you think about the like from – merchandise and i was like i i don't no one's gonna wear that i mean it's funny but that's the stupidest thing i've ever heard no one's gonna wear a shirt with front (laughs) on the back of it that's so stupid so it's been coming up here and there and we were streaming yesterday and i got hit again of like dude like this is from our department like from rooster teeth like people are going nuts about this front back shirt we got it we got (laughs) to accelerate this thing right and like in the middle of the streaming yesterday it was it was in between ryan it was like a whole tech issue of Ryan setting up, I think, seven wonderings. And 
in the middle of the tech conversation, Gavin and I were giving notes for front back. To just now, moments ago, I received message. They're trying to get a front back shirt sent to me today. Yeah, that's like amazing. to have the shirt. And I was and just I, like, yesterday like, we were we talking were about it. I was like, track this front back. We were agreeing that it was like it was probably just a black shirt with front written on the back. In my head, I was thinking like, ah, oh, like impact font or something, you know, just classic like that. And and right. one of the the mock ups that we got was impact. So that well, was they impact. Even, we picked. They even said like, <laughs> are we thinking classic like you know RVB shirts? And my thought was like Sarge, you know, just like name on a shirt. It's a black shirt and it says front on the back. That's it. <laughs> That's the shirt. Yeah. It looks so, like the kind of shirt Rooster Teeth, the Rooster Teeth design team could have, which was me, could have designed right. in 2004. It's it's a shirt, and someone brought this up earlier. I don't remember who it was earlier today, and they were like, "Man, people," because what I said was, "Uh, like people are gonna see that, and I wonder how many people are gonna wear it wrong and put the front on the front, <laughs> and then the collar's not gonna make sense." Yeah, and, and like somebody said neck on the back. Yeah, that's what I said. And it was either Jeremy or Ryan. But somebody was like, "Man, there's gonna be a lot of confused people when they pick up that shirt from Goodwill, which is where all of our shirts <laughs> end up. And people donate them, and somebody yeah. go, oh, I get it.' And they're gonna be wearing it with front on the front, and it's not wearing make it any sense at all. <laughs> it is not a front front shirt. It's a front it's back so shirt. Stupid, I forget how though. it came up too. We said the next shirt is just oh. gonna be the word uh, outside printed on the inside of the shirt. <laughs> It was, it was, it was, it was Ryan. We were playing with green screens and Ryan was outside. And I said, I said something like, Ryan, you can't, you can't go outside anymore. Outside is inside now. And Matt said, but oh, what's yeah. inside then? And I said, inside is gone, Matt. There is no, you said inside inside's anymore. the new outside. That's what you said. Yeah. <laughs> this episode of off topic is brought to you by Raycon. I'm a busy lad. I can't be tied down by wires. Look around you. It's a wireless world, and everyone needs a great pair of wireless earbuds. But before you go dropping hundreds of dollars on a pair, you need to check out the wireless earbuds from Raycon. You already know the Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, and that they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands you know. Their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, are their best ones yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. Raycon's wireless earbuds are so comfortable, perfect for on the go listening and for taking phone calls. Very, very stylish, very sleek, tiny little guy, pop it out, put it right in your earbud, greets you, goes, Raycon, no dongle, no dingle, no dangle. They're great looking, they sound great, I love to use them. Listen to a lot of audio podcasts with them. Take phone calls with them. Uh, they're they're pretty swell all around. And I say yes. Unlike some of your other wireless options, Raycon earbuds are both stylish and discreet with no dangling wires or stems. You've heard me talk about how the company was co-founded by Ray J and celebrities like Snoop Dogg and J.R. Smith are obsessed with Raycons. Pick up a pair and see what the hype is all about. Now's the time to get the latest, greatest from Raycon. Get 15% off your order at buyraycon.com slash off topic. That's buyraycon.com slash off topic for 15% off Raycon wireless earbuds by raycon.com slash off topic god so anyway because of your fervor chat and 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 watchers and listeners on the internet they're fast tracking a front back shirt so please buy it <laughs> yeah because it's the stupidest thing ever well because you were trying to get checkpoint confidence made because it's a real shirt front back yeah because right. you're like what the, what's front back you said that like one time in the video. <laughs> And now everyone's gone ape for front back. <laughs> you gotta give the people what they want. They want front back. Okay? So they're getting front the dumber back. The the better. That's, you know? Keep it simple, stupid. There there it is, man. Yeah, is Smee gonna bite your uh, wire in half? Does Smee still do uh, that? He might. This one's a little bit thicker than the one he just one-shotted. Um, he might have to <laughs> give this a little chew. <laughs> but, you know, he could... My favorite Smee moment is like, I, you know, Smee has a reputation of scratching people pretty bad. It's happened a few I, times. Biting mainly, yeah. I, yeah, when I, we I, first I met Smee, uh, Kat, you know, of course, she sees a cat and she's like, woo, and like can't help herself. And so she's like petting Smee and telling Smee he's great and everything. And you were standing next to me, Gavin, with your hands together. And you just shook your head and went, 
I am so nervous. <laughs> See, <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> terrified he was going to snap. Yeah, because, uh... I mean, he's a nice cat 99% of the time, but sometimes he's just an absolute hungry maniac. <laughs> Hey, I don't want to change the subject, uh, but I'm like 98% sure I just heard my girlfriend fart for the first time. It was not me. It was Henry. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was definitely her. Oh, on camera. It was on camera. It was, it was, it's yeah. been like three years and she finally farted. Oh, I like that. I like that she's off camera saying it's not me. How many people are in your house, Jeff? <laughs> it was her, man. It wasn't Henry. me. It's a, right he's our bulldog, but it wasn't him. It was definitely a girl fart. Well, you you got the audio, right? Did you pick it up? We can. That's true. You're recording. Uh, yeah, I'll go back and I'm gonna isolate it later. Don't worry. We're gonna yeah, do like a Zerkner style. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. Nice. I'm gonna be in. I'm gonna be in a in like a fucking hotel in a in like a conference room in a hotel, looking at <laughs> asking headphones on for eight hours, just looking to isolate the fart. <laughs> I, I I farted this morning as I do many mornings and I was in the closet and I was like putting putting laundry away or something like that and I go oop I farted and then Lindsay in the bathroom goes I know why do you always say it why do I heard you why do you have to say it out loud and I said hey hey maybe God's listening but he's just not watching and I want him to know <laughs> You don't want God to misattribute a fart. Oh, like to your he looked away. And he's doing a lot of things. He's distracted. And I'm like, <laughs> you got a lot going on. I just farted in case I went. I said maybe there's a tally somewhere. I don't know. I want him to know how many farts. Like you know, when I Oops. go wherever I'm going, to be like, well, that was a lot. I'm glad you called him out. I would have missed a lot. What if a fart That's is a funny. tiny portion of a sin, right? Oh, I'm and done it's like for one thousand farts equals one sin. <laughs> So you have to do a thousand farts to cancel out a sin? I don't know how many farts equals a sin. No, I'm saying no, no, like no, no. farts equal a sin. Farts, oh. are bad. farts are bad, right? Farts, farts are bad. I not. Oh, no. I love them. I love them. Like it's like it's like God saying, "I put that in you. That's for you. Don't throw away my scent, my God smell, my scent, <laughs> my God smell." <laughs> uh, or maybe not. But maybe I feel like farts. Our God smell, right? He made everything fart. He did. That's what he's saying. God's you know? saying, if I, I, yeah, I made it. Why? Uh, who are you to expel it? Do you it? think? Do you think God? Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disagree with you on that and turn it. Do you think God is the biggest fart sniffer there is? Because they're all his farts. He's he like, I made man in my image, and I made their farts in my image, and he just goes. <sighs> And he just sucks them all up through his big godly nostrils, and he goes, "I love it." He's oh. like, he's like, could be, could be, he's like smell of my farts. <laughs> it is of me. Yeah. What, what do you I... think is is the highest altitude that one of your farts made it? <laughs> when, it when it when it went out into the world, like what is the what highest the... particle? Well, at what point is a oh. fart no longer a fart? Like what when does it, it has it dissipated enough to not be fart anymore? Yeah, but it's still That's like, like but. Like tiny butt. Tiny butt. Well, like what's the concentration? What's the required concentration of fart particles oh, to equal? Oh, like uh, PPM be considered fart. Yeah. Yeah, maybe like uh, two parts per million or something. It's still a fart because it's not just a. I got another one. question. Who do you think the first person to fart in space was? Because that's a record. Like yeah, somebody, first, first, some first one up there. Probably a Russian first astronaut. person in space farted in space. Do you think they right. went upward? Probably farted and I wonder how there. long. I wonder how long they were in space before they farted, and we, if they realized when they farted, I am the first person in the history of Earth to fart in space. Well, you think like there's like eight G's of pressure when you're going up, so the the first person probably just squeezed the fart out of them the entire way up into the atmosphere. So mm -hmm. that was just one extended fart all the way into uh, into outer space. Yeah, I feel like you don't have any control over that, though. I figure that wouldn't count. You're talking about like a like a manual pushed fart, like a ripper. Like you, like mm. you look around the space station, <laughs> make sure no one else is in space with you. And you rip <laughs> one, and then you just watch the fart particles kind of float around and never go oh, anywhere. Oh, dude! Imagine you also have no way forward. You're yeah, you have, yeah, you have no resistance, too. so you would fart and go the opposite direction of yeah. your fart. So <laughs> you propel yourself. Wow. Do you think I mean, that must have gotten? Really... Oh, I, I was going to say that must have gotten tiring. That like the, the first person in space, everything they did was the first thing done in space. Dude, I'm the first <laughs> like, person yeah. to pop my knuckles in space. 
I'm the first person to scratch my nose in space. I'm the first person right. to comb my hair in space. Eventually, they must have been like, I get it. Yeah, I'm the yeah, first okay. guy in space. We got it. Don't I would think the people I'm... on the ISS are in no rush to come back to Earth right now. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> like, We're good. Noise. <laughs> probably pretty, pretty chill up Keeps there. <laughs> Keep Dude, sending us hugging. Tang and, and ice cream. They're <laughs> hugging. They're having parties every night. They're being super social. No distancing at all. Making out. Yeah. Dipping dots. Hands and shit. What was that? It's a dipping dip dots. dots. Eating lots of dipping dip dots. dots. Right? Okay. It's, I thought it was slang that's, for something. That's space no. ice cream. No, I got it. Yeah. Don't I tell Sean don't Spicer. I just don't know how that's communal. That stuff sucks, Ooh. by the way. Dip and dots. It's not great. You need to close your mouth. Dip and dots are pretty good. Ice cream is good, dude. They're dots. Yeah, they're they're they turn awful. Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Last Laugh. Last Laugh premieres on roosterteeth.com on 420. Lol. That's April 20th. In a world where laughter is forbidden and one smile can spell certain doom, Funhouse, Achievement Hunter, that's us, and Rooster Teeth are sending their top comedians into the ultimate comic showdown. Comic is a bit of a stretch there. It's a bunch of people that happen to work here, and they said, all you get in a room together and make the funny happen. Trapped together and armed with only a duffel bag of props and their own wit or stupidity, that's me, the challengers compete to make each other laugh first. There's no escape from the sabotage, subterfuge, and let's face it, slapstick. Host Jeff Ramsey makes sure that not one chortle goes unnoticed as competitors are eliminated one by one until the funniest remains. And he's he's a stickler, that Jeff Ramsey. Let me tell you, being in this show, hey, you chuckle. That's a strike. That's a chuckle strike. He who laughs last wins cash and bragging rights. Who will break first and who will get the last laugh? Part social experiment and part game show. Watch Last Laugh on 420 on roosterteeth.com exclusively for first members. Again, that's April 20th. If you're not from America, you might be like 420. That makes no sense. You mean 24? Because you guys flip the dates around like all loopy doopy crazy style. Check out Last Laugh and maybe you'll laugh too? <laughs> Man, I went on a tear the other night in front of my refrigerator. Uh, it was like 12.30 at night, and I thought, I'm going to get a little nosh. Opened up the fridge. I'm still working off this this uh, almost two-pound slab of cheese I bought. It's almost gone, by the way. What kind of cheese? Uh, nice. American, sliced American from the deli. So I'm just eating it. I'm eating it, and I went, all right, I'm done with that. What's next? Ooh, I got this two-liter of Fanta I haven't opened yet. Cracked it open, just started sucking it right from the bottle because no one, no one else is going to drink Fanta. I wasn't worried about cross-contamination. Then as I'm slurping the Fanta, I went, I just bought a bunch of ice cream. What do I got in there? Boom, strawberry ice cream, ate half a pint, just standing there. Yeah. I'm almost done, I'm almost done with the pint, and then I think, oh, man, I got a box of sour cream and chive pretzels. Ate the whole bag. <laughs> So and that was the other back. night. Well, and and the other, there was a lot of comments. I tweeted this. Uh, there was a lot of comments of like, oh man, like quarantine life, or like just all sorts of like reasoning behind it. No reasoning, just Michael me, life every day. Yeah. Michael life. Do you, think, did you, ever do you see, think? Did you ever see that episode of The Simpsons where Homer ate sliced cheese until he went blind? Oh, that's a dream. <laughs> you might have been close to that. That's a dream come true, man. I just kept ping ponging from one thing to the other. And I was just like, I'm hungry, dude. Don't please, it, please don't, please don't insult me uh, by attributing this to some sort of phenomenon going on. Okay. I would have done this two months ago. I just happened to have those <laughs> foods. And that's what I ate last night. It was a bonus. You know, I went downstairs and ate last night for five minutes. Uh, uh, turnips in vinegar. And they were delicious. Mm. Radishes. Sorry, not turnips. Radishes. It was sliced mm. radish slices. With uh, rice vinegar. Oh, delicious. You're a freak. You know what you that should do? Rice vinegar should <laughs> <laughs> be. It was, yeah, yeah, rice vinegar you know, gross. Do you, know why I ate the it? do you know why I ate it? Because it was part of my delicious Blue Apron meal that I had last night. And they're you a sponsor do... this very episode. Wow. You you need to do your own Blue Apron service. Like an Eat Like Michael box that arrives. It's just wild. like no one you know ice cream, cheese it's a block of cheddar. Yeah. Here's it's... some cheese and peanut butter. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you open it up and it's like there's eight Girl Scout cookies, a bag of gushers, some fruit there, roll ups, I was just gonna say gushers. Some I had like forty gushers downstairs. And it would come with like a fiend. There would there, come there's with a not printout. a day goes by that we don't need a box of gushers right now. 
the recipe printout would just it would just say eat. Just eat it. There yeah. wouldn't be any other instructions. <laughs> Everything I include would be one hundred percent eat. Dude, would it come with a wine I pairing as well? <laughs> last What's weekend, that? Kat and I uh like we, we had kind of a rough weekend and we were out and we were like, well, we don't really want to go back home yet. Uh, you know, again, being back home, we were in the car. We're like, let's just drive. Like, let's just drive, listen to music and stuff like that. So we started driving and then we were like just going north. So we were like, we could just keep going, go to Waco. <laughs> Never come Kat, back. <laughs> well, because Kat loves on the border, <laughs> like loves it, the restaurant and uh, the closest ones in Waco. So <laughs> we're like, yep. So we were like, screw it. Let's just. We're like, we let's just go traveled in Texas an hour and a half to eat on the border. Yep. She, she, are they, are they still like, open? I don't think. Yeah. So like the takeout is the takeout is open. And like, I don't think addicted is too strong a term to say what cat is to their salsa. And so we, we got there first off margaritas to go. Hell yeah. That you can get a box, <laughs> like a bag of Rita's. <laughs> which is like a ton of them or you can get a to-go cup there's still one there and we're like can we take a to-go cup to and drive with it and they're like oh we'll just put some tape on it you'll be fine I'm like <laughs> okay um <laughs> what, does mean, what does that mean oh like it means they tape the container. Container. Yeah, yeah they tape the lid closed so it's not open oh. container but literally it's just like a strip <laughs> of masking tape that's it um That'll so keep it uh, that's a life pro tip for anybody who's listening. If you want to drink and drive, just bring some scotch tape with you. Yep, and you're good. When you see um, the light, just start pulling it. And, uh, and so we got like some food, but we got like three quarts of salsa. This was on Sunday. Um, and the third one is just is gone now. <laughs> just, so she was like, well, guess we're out. And I was like, we could just drive up again on Saturday. <laughs> How long like, what there? else are we doing? <laughs> You know, we're not doing anything here. Fuck it. Yeah, but that has nothing a, to do with it. You go there. You go there all the time. Don't blame this do. on three, the situation. That's a three-hour round trip for salsa. <laughs> is what Correct. That is. Correct. All right. You know what? I don't. Pretty good. I don't want to drive downtown most days. I go. Eh, it's all the way downtown. Oh, driving's good, man. Music. Yeah, but, but the down. thing about it, what you're describing is driving. Going downtown isn't driving. It's you're right. Hell. That's stopping a lot. A bunch of traffic and no parking. Like, that's why I hate it. I'm with you. Like when we go to we visit Lindsay's family in Dallas, it's a, it's not a bad drive. Three hours is real nice when you just drive in a straight line and just do whatever you want. Um, but Austin is, city is just icky and I hate going. I hate going like in the heart of the city. It's like, oh, I like the stuff they have there, but I don't like getting there. I think I when, park in a parking live- garage. When I live downtown, coming home from work, depending on the time of day, I could get home in like nine minutes if I hit traffic just right or almost two hours. And we were like, our office is six miles from downtown, maybe. If that. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's it's that's the worst thing is like traffic. I would rather go out of my way and drive a longer distance than sit in traffic. It, it's something something about moving as long as i'm moving i'm fine but if, yeah. I, if i'm sitting in like just, a line of cars it, it drives me you're crazy just kidding yourself there yeah but still i'm moving <laughs> yeah, yeah but also it, it, also I, I gavin say, you can't be the one to comment on driving it, you son true. of a bitch it, it's different when you're driving <laughs> just, when, you know, when you're sitting it. in the passenger seat it doesn't matter but when you're driving you want to be driving it's so much mm-hmm. more boring to be sitting in traffic or sitting in a light it's like uh because you can't just guess, turn off and do whatever you want with your phone you have to just sit there and fucking uh, like driving yeah, you have at to least still be like, wee, driving we i'm turning the wheel look at me go we i spilled my beer doing that oh you have a beer mm-hmm. what kind of I'm beer drinking is it? it it's uh well incredible well i don't want i don't want to say <laughs> it's uh it's out of my incredible two cup. It's what I had left over from Luna's birthday party. Yeah. Oh. Now I understand, but you know, if you got it left over and you like Corona, you drink it. Good. Yeah. You got a lime? Got any I do, limes? I do, I do like Corona. No, I never have limes. I do have lime juice, oh. but I was too lazy to get it. I oh just man, Corona's without there. limes are not great. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm oh, the I'm same way, them. Jack. Wow. I got. Yeah, some, uh, some hey, of- hey yeah. I'm struggling too. Okay. That's, that's what I'm sucking down right now. Ooh, Man, goodness. I don't have a drink. I might go and get a claw. Hey, hey Joe. Look at that. Yeah. I got some rain in there. 
somebody in the chat just uh, was asking it, what we're doing uh, for Face Jam. So we're still trying to we're still trying to record it. We've got uh, a pending record date next week. Fast food's still open. There's takeout. There's 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 drive through. So we're gonna try and manage. Um, you know, basically what we're doing here. If we can do off topic from home, I'm pretty sure we could do Face Jam. So as long as people are still making food, we're still going to eat it and rate it. Yeah. That's, that is all. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And we're yeah. working on restocking them shirties. Hopefully not too long. Hopefully end of the month. They didn't oh, want you're me to 100% say that, shirt? Yeah. That's a great uh, shirt. It's a great shirt. It's a great design. Yeah, it is. The it Face is. Jam design team killed it. Yeah, I wanted one of those. I didn't get I'm one. Sorry, Jack. I I had very little to do with it. Things happened My around Jack. me and I had to roll with it. Yeah. Yeah. What I <laughs> I said this morning, you would you had already left to go to a meeting or something. Um oh Tre it was Trevor he said, uh, doing our live streams because you know, so many people are stuck at home and because RTTV is open to everyone now, not just first members. Anybody can watch it during this whole uh uh CF going on. Um he was like, it might not be a bad idea. It's something we never, ever do, you know, sensibly, but it might not be a bad idea to kind of introduce yourself at the beginning of videos, like streams, because people might be watching us and they don't know who the hell you are. Because it's like, you know, oh, I'm just sitting at home and people are playing video games, whatever, I'll watch who that is. And it's all very much like, eh, you know who everybody is, you know all the inside jokes and everything, which is something I've strived to not do uh, with Face Jam from the beginning. So anytime somebody mentions someone outside the show, I become irate. And I'd say that they don't know, the audience doesn't know who that is. So I said this morning in reference to that, and I go, hey, Face Jam shirt. I, and I literally said this to Eric. I go, hey, man, when we get a restock of those shirts, I need one for my friend Jack because he really wants one. <laughs> you don't know him. But he's a fan of the show. Or he's a fan of the shirt. And just I'm telling you, he'll like it. It's the only place where I'll talk about Lindsay and refer to her as my wife, and I don't say her name. People don't know who she is. Why would I say her name? My wife. So I'm, trying, I'm, I'm trying to get yeah, a shirt sure. for a friend of mine. So when they're restocked, I'll let you know. I'll hit you up. More okay, coming you. and way more than the initial print. So hopefully all you jammers get your shirts. And you know, it's maybe yeah, some extra baby. stuff coming too. It's, it's funny you say that because we had an interesting anomaly. You talk about like new people coming in and watching the content. We had an interesting anomaly happen last week that had everybody kind of scratching their heads. It was a good one. But we had um, like last Thursday, Friday, we had hundreds and hundreds of new first trial signups that were attributed to Haunter, which everybody was kind of confused by because Haunter is over and the marketing for Haunter has spun down. And I guess you guys mentioned it in some way on Off Topic yesterday. And... There's just so many people that aren't used to watching RTTV coming in from outside, which welcome. We'd love to have you. Uh, and a bunch of people signed up for first last week, uh, I guess, uh, Trump memberships to watch Honor, which was awesome. Uh, but it goes to show like there may be a lot of people who are watching right now who uh, aren't first members. It's incredibly cheap and you can get a seven day free trial. And there's tons of first only content you can watch like Weird Place and Haunter and Arizona Circle. Yep. But there's new stuff coming out like Last Laugh, which the trailer came out, I believe, yesterday. Uh, and Hardcore Monopoly will be out uh, nope. this year as nope. well. No, not Monopoly. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Hardcore Mini Golf. I'm sorry. Hardcore <laughs> yeah. Monopoly. We got two seasons of that shit. <laughs> uh, and, uh, no, <laughs> no, no idea is already out right now, too, right? The first two episodes are up. I think the first think two episodes. More than that. Is it more? Uh, is it anyway, two? yeah. But it's like it that. shouldn't be a foregone conclusion that everybody uh, that's listening to us right now has has been forced to listen to us tell them to sign up for first a thousand times. Some of you may have only heard it once or twice, so now you've heard it a third. I, I watched the episode no of No Idea where Adam was blindfolded. And it, was <laughs> was very, it was very funny. <laughs> Adam was blindfolded. Every, and James every James every was handcuffed. <laughs> Every reference that James <laughs> made to seeing something, I don't be like, no, I can't see. <laughs> yeah. It makes me so mad how funny those guys are sometimes. Yeah. They also they on, on the site, so easy on the site for first members too. They've released the uncut version of the show. So in the show, it's like they have an hour to build something, and then they cut it down to like a, maybe a twenty minute episode. They've released the entire hour online too, like edited, Jesus. so you can watch the entire process if you want. So it's actually what a real it a lot? uncut hour. Yeah, it's we a also real time. this week. I think we also this week started releasing the uncensored versions of Seven, Seven Wanderings. Wanderings. Yeah, yeah we which did. I heard people Seven say Seven Wanderings, according to Sarah. Who boy, it was censored. It was yeah. Really you, know censored. Was, you know who was asking? Ryan. Really? 
Ryan goes, why do people keep saying that? What was censored? And I, I, go, I go, all the bleeps, Ryan. And he goes, oh, yeah. yeah. And we also <laughs> had to blur a ton of stuff out that we, I mean, we still have to blur some stuff out, but we backed off on the blurs. We had to put a warning for, there's a, the, the spoiler, the seri season finale, series finale, whatever, uh, has me vomit pretty heavily in it <laughs> and we had to put a vomit warning for people we took that out yeah good <laughs> that was so funny we and i remember that discussing that too because it was uh we, you know they were like oh we just have to do it and and like i get it because there was like you know ah, it's kind of extreme and like some people are really like adverse to that kind of like people have vomit phobias or like sets them off or whatever and i remember us having a conversation and i went yeah but it's really funny yeah, you think it's it sucks? Like when, to when, when, you should have been the one to vomit. It fucking sucked to do it. It's <laughs> just like you had to experience it. You can watch it. Yeah, it's out of nowhere. That, that's what makes it's it so like, funny. I'm out of nowhere. Just, like you just go hum da dum da dum. It came out of me. That was well. That's true. You did. It, it. You come out of nowhere it. for the audience, but I was well aware of it for about twenty minutes <laughs> leading up. <laughs> uh, hey, Jeff. You, Oh, yeah, Jeff. Ahead, I started watching Tiger King. I'm two episodes into Tiger King. Mm, how do you and feel? I'm glad we're talking about this. That's a crazy ass show, man. It's uh, yeah. yeah I, I've I've been watching it with Katie, and Katie's like, "Oh, this woman, this Carol woman, she seems really nice." And I'm like, "She's gonna be crazy, just like the rest of them." And she goes, "No, she's gonna be." And then like the end of the second episode sets up what I'm assuming yeah. is the third episode about her. And yeah, uh, episode one wow. is like the, the Joe introduction. Episode two is that weird sex orgy tiger dude doc ant ant dwell or whatever yeah, i think and then episode three is all about why uh carol is probably a murderer no <laughs> so what's Allegedly. crazy about that is everybody started talking about that and i and i was like oh my god michael's in the know for once i listened to an entire podcast series about that like six months ago like when i started getting oh, wow. into podcasts and shit oh, really? uh it, it was by the wondery uh, I can't, I think it, it was just called like, it was season two of something. It was like a, it's kind of like a crime, you know, like true crime story, like series, yeah, like crime junkie like a, or like my favorite right. murder. One of those times. They like a, do a different, they do like a different case. And this was season two it was like season two, Joe exotic. And I remember going like, eh, I don't know if it's like a, I don't know, like an animal thing. I don't know if I'm going to like, it. and I listened to it and I was like, Oh my God, this is amazing. Uh, and it was so interesting. And like, enough i went oh i'll watch a netflix thing about it and already listening to the to the podcast what's amazing about the netflix documentary is because the guy was such a whack job but like he fucking filmed everything so like it's yeah. all footage of him like and that's not like shit they filmed for this netflix documentary like the guy just always had camera crews filming himself and he was always doing interviews and he had his own like uh like like internet reality basically TV like show. tv show he had a reality tv show and it's just interesting to watch and finally see like all the video but it's also interesting because the way they're telling the story is just completely different as far as like when reveals are being mentioned you know what i mean mm -hmm. like it's just totally different storytelling of the same story and how they're breaking it up on netflix so i just started watching it uh last night and i'm just it's a, it's crazy it's I'm blown away by how show. much footage they have, considering the a shitload of it burnt up. I'm yeah, amazed. Well, don't spoil anything. With the, with the don't spoil. I can't, I can't remember the crocodiles or something. Something got oh, burned yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Don't spoil it for Jack. Something I got it's burned up for a month. I uh, I am amazed at all of that was going on online. Like you were talking about Joe Exotic's online television show where he's like threatening Carol and making music videos about Carol. And that was all happening on the exact same internet that we make a living on. And we just had no fucking clue. <laughs> yeah. The internet is such yeah. a big place. It's I mean, crazy. It's in Oklahoma. We could have driven up there. Ago. We could have gone up there and hung out with Joe Exotic at his zoo. Mm. They're mm. not that far away. Yeah. No. It's a zoo. Yeah. It's a big internet, so, man. Alas. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I I'm started watching a show. show. I started watching a show. I don't think any of you guys have mentioned. Jack, I think you in particular would like it. Uh, it's kind of, it's uh, it's on FX. It's called Dave. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. It's really, really, really <laughs> hate you. I don't like no, it. You. Anyway, it's about Lil Dicky, this white rapper. Michael, you should check it out. Jeremy, you should oh. check it out. Jack, if you get a chance, check it out. I will. Jeff, are you, you, you are you? Jeff, you know, I always take your recommendations to heart. I'm going to check it out immediately. I wish I, I heard it before. 
I watched it and I watched two episodes in a row. It was so good. And that's a little bit one in the morning. That's amazing. <laughs> well timed. J- Jack loves his new power. I got a, I got a new thing too. I, th- I don't know if it works or not. Can you hear this? Yeah, baby. Yep, sure come in. Yeah. All right, there we yep. go. Yeah, uh, Mike Pirtle <laughs> sent me all of the uh, the soundboard. Yeah, baby. Apparently, so there's they, multiple they, yeah they, babies. Has that has that been you hitting it? Like it? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, baby. Oh, no, no, not just now. I mean, earlier in the podcast. Was that you? Yeah, that's me. It? Yeah, baby. Oh, I, oh, I thought broadcast. that was like Mike T or something. Hitting yeah, that. baby. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, actually, Dave I is remember... fantastic. Watch Dave. It's such a good show. Yeah. Have you watched all the episodes, Jeff? <laughs> I've only watched the first two. Watch Dave and tell him Jeff sent you. Yeah, dude. You got it, bud. The, the end of the second episode sold me on the series. It was oh, it's great. It's such, a, such a perfect oh, so premise. You've seen and then. You yeah. know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I've seen the show. I've seen the show, Jeff. <laughs> God damn, I hate you guys so much. It's like Jeff's <laughs> show called Breaking Bad. It's about this teacher who sells meth. You should go check I, it I, out. I feel like, great. I think Gus I feel like you're cranky at I feel like you're more cranky at home, Jack. Man, I we watch <laughs> We watched That's me. the first we watched the first episode last night, and then we immediately watched the second episode. And as soon as it was over, I turned to Emily and I said, I'm going to make Jack miserable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Why? happier it's watching because I want to be able to talk to somebody about the show other than Katie. Because like we watch it. we ever, It comes out on Thursday, so we'll watch the new episode tonight. And then, yeah, but it's nice to have someone else be like, oh, my God, did you see when this? The, the fifth episode of that show it, there, there's it's it's an amazing episode. I don't want to say anything, but it, like we, it was just um, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's a performance that you would never expect. And I'll, watch uh, the show, I'll what, Dave on FM. I'll, I'll watch it this weekend, and then next week I'll tell you why you should like it, Jack. Okay. I just want to know, Jeff. Here's a maybe I don't know a silly question. If Jack's been watching it for so long, enjoying it, why hasn't he told us about it? That dude is such a gatekeeper for entertainment. He's like, reaching for a button. He's, yeah. he's keeping it for himself. You know what I mean? Well, I would have liked selfish. to know about it. He's it's selfish, selfish. With, his, he's selfish, selfish with his television. He's selfish share with his entertainment. Wealth, dude. He doesn't want to share. He hoards. He hoards all the good stuff. Like, let the rest of the world know about this awesome entertainment that you find and enjoy. We all want to know. We all consume entertainment too, Jack. I saw Jack oh. do like a reach. <laughs> it's like something's it's, coming. I just saw his arm start moving. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the pistol? <laughs> the thing is, the thing about that meme is Jack's both pictures. He is both of them. <laughs> Jack's the screaming woman and the cat. Gav, you guys don't know who those women oh, are, do you? Michael, no. Gav, Gav look at this know guy. that in Awu. Oh, you know this that is, is so gross. Uh, you know. Oh my God! Wait, what, what happened, happened to it? To it? <laughs> Why is well, it? I, well, like days it after I I ate the head off, I left it in the back of Lindsay's car, and it melted in the Texas heat. But then it reformed. Look, look, <laughs> but that's the same one. This is that's same the one, same baby. one. Same one. This is that's this is the, the, this is For the Ralph gummy bear. Yeah. Uh huh. I have it. Like I keep it on my bookshelf. What's sure with you bots? keeping food for like five years? Well, you still it's have that Gatorade at the office. That's also true. I said, <laughs> I said before we left the office, do I bring this home and finally drink this during quarantine? Is this the moment? Is this what I've been waiting for? It's I, I have an emotional attachment to the gummy bear that I ate how the head it, off of. And I said to Gav, look now. at this. Gav, it's still got the sheen. Look at it's the got sheen. the sheen. Nice. It's still got the sheen. So it's what so are you going to do with that? You can't eat that. I display so it. You're just going to keep it. Here's what I could do, right? Just I could I could remelt it and put it in a mold and reform him. I can rebuild like a this guy without one. a head. Without yeah. a, oh, I could do a smaller one. You can well, make can a new like, complete one. I could do I could do three smaller ones. You just set me up. You just we heard, you just figured out what I'm gonna do for it. We heard a story um on we filmed an episode of Chump yesterday. Jack was on it. And then so after we filmed Chump, we do a post show where we like talk about true stories that people didn't get to hear and stuff like that. We heard a story from Chris Damaris that he like Gross. kept a, a toenail for a very long time. All right. Now that's yeah. not his, not his, not his, not his. It was, it was else Nick is. from a simple walk. Yeah. So like, you know, during the walk, I guess his nail fell off and oh, Christ. they just kept it. They yeah. just kept oh. it and had it. Um, yeah, it was He's serial it killer. Was He's ugh. Jack, for most of that, was like, I just don't know what to do with Chris. Like, everything Chris <laughs> yeah. said, Jack's like, could be. Yeah. 
could be. No, uh, yeah, on Chump, like I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a pretty good contestant, and that I can, I can yeah. pick apart people pretty well. So they throw the hardest competitors up against me, and so mm-hmm. you've got, you got Sam Mitchell who has a poker face for days. He's so good at telling just straight lies, He's and like then the you've mask, got, yeah. then you've got Chris who just tells the most unbelievable batshit stories but it makes sense for him so it's like this weird like you know it's it's hard to play against those guys and so yeah. and then, and I, then chef, chef mike, mike would, on. yeah chef mike and i just read him like no problem yeah <laughs> <laughs> chef, chef mike was on there. like if we really wanted to throw like the full master class at jack um like we really wanted chef mike on there probably alfredo would be like the substitute alfredo's good too yeah alfredo he's good too. terrific have you guys ever noticed how much Chef Mike looks like Hank from Breaking Bad? I've been watching Saul, and <laughs> yeah. he's on the show now. And every time I see he it, does, I think it's kind of. Look at Dean Norris. Yeah. Oh, D- uh, Hank's on uh, on Better Call Saul now. Yeah, he's in season. Oh, he wow. was on last season, I think. Or no, he's on this nice. season. This season, season five. Yeah. Right. God, I gotta catch. Hope he lives a that. long, happy life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all good people on that show. All good people. Come here, Henry. <laughs> Poor bastard. Is he gonna fart again? Uh, that was not the dog. Oh, okay. Poor dog. Well, who would blame the dog? That's terrible. A monster. God's yeah. keeping track. Watch out. Loves, I, I haven't loves, been fought oh. on for so long. Mm, I'm sorry, Gavin. Do you miss it? No, I don't really. I think it's quite nice. Nice fresh air. <laughs> he keeps are hitting awesome. the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I like his arms are splayed out. Like they're not just straightforward. They're like outside. <laughs> he's he's slamming into all the equipment again great for the audio podcast listeners we love yeah, you guys that's, that's, I, for the audio podcast listeners well, i picked up the bulldog and it touched everything yeah yeah it <laughs> jostled the microphone and licked jeff's face it doesn't understand but... social distancing it, it that's okay not know. a carrier can't get it yep they can't i thought dogs it. could oh can they yeah dogs and cats no. i think they what? actually, yeah, they actually can. Oh, oh, they um, can. Yeah. Well, they just don't get sick. I don't know. Didn't the first dog pass away from coronavirus? Oh my god! I think a they, cat, I a they cat said, had it oh, and showed no. symptoms. Yeah, they lied. The wow. goddamn mainstream media lied to me again. I thought dogs. I think were the cleared. first one passed away in China. I no. think, but they, wow. but they hadn't done like an autopsy no. to determine that that was the cause. They just know it had it. They don't know if that's what, you know, oh, no. what eventually led to it passing away. Everything but. I know is a lie. Well, I am not Either letting way, my dog go to the grocery store. 21 hours to go. Here's what I'm doing. I'm reading the headline, and I feel like I shouldn't read any more than that. Corona can infect cats, dogs, not so much. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Oh, hang on. <laughs> Tyler just sent me an update. Hang on. At this time, this is from the CDC, there's no evidence yep. that companion animals, including pets, can spread COVID-19 or that they might be a source of infection in the United States. So maybe they could they could get it, but they can't spread it. Get it? Yeah, spread that's it. an interesting yeah. phrasing. Oh, I don't know, Jeff. Man. Jeff I think I only I you might give a shit about this. I do. I, I care so much. No. Uh, did you see that Chris Cuomo has Corona? Yeah, I've been watching him uh, report from his basement or whatever. Is he still broadcasting? Like, with, yeah, with he it? is still. He did a show last night from uh, from his the two nights in a row. He's done it from his basement. Uh, yeah, he's uh, and he he is right. not. He was asymptomatic the first show, and now he's symptomatic. And uh, yeah, wow. it's so been th- those of you who don't know, uh, Chris Cuomo, his brother is the governor of New York, right? Yeah, yeah, Andrew and Cuomo. so Chris, yeah, Andrew Cuomo, and so so Chris Cuomo does shows. He's uh, he's got a show on Sirius XM and uh, and CNN, I think. CNN. This is, yeah, he's on yeah. CNN. They have pretty That's funny interviews together. Yeah, yeah, yeah hearing the. <laughs> They did a funny thing where his where Andrew Cuomo used a picture of his brother with his mouth open, looking like a dumbass when he announced that his <laughs> brother had had Corona. And then he goes, uh, I realize it's an embarrassing photo. I didn't pick it. Uh, my apologies. It was uh, somebody in the staff. And then it cut back to Chris Cuomo, who's telling the story. And he goes, he absolutely picked it anyway. Yeah, like they constantly <laughs> like weird throw barbs at each other. It's great. Well, I, I was, saw one where they were, they were arguing about who's who who's uh, or which of the two of them their mother loved more. And it's like clearly yeah, it was me. Like, the mom loved us more. <laughs> Yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> yeah, they that's, have it's pretty funny. But anyway, that's why speaking wild, of man. funny, did you see the um do you remember when Fiona was doing that weird dream bit in that G mod, the one on the roof? And she wanted us to get a pickup. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yep. yeah. Is that out? Because <laughs> we ended yeah. the video and she's like, hang on, hang on, hang on. And it took like twelve more minutes. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, I watched it all cut together properly. It's very funny. She had is like that, a little whoa, vision. Did that episode come out? Yeah, it's on yeah. the she first now. Oh, she had a little wow. vision. And she was like, I want to do it. It's so freaking oh, no. weird and funny. That was one of the it's right at the end. TTTs were like, the very rare, you know, people lie constantly in TTT. That's the name of the game. Every so often, there's what one that it? like breaks your heart. <laughs> there was yeah. one in that where I was like super best friends with someone and then they turned on me. It's man. like always the I, worst. I would say usually the I, heart I hate I hate TT so much, man. I I or okay, I don't <laughs> hate it. I hate being I hate being the traitor Jack, in the, TT. You hate being the traitor. Jack's the, so Jack's much. the only person in the game that doesn't like being the traitor. I, I Everyone hate else is the most fun. I have, so I, have the much, I have see. I have more fun screwing with people and running I have around. So much and, fun. But why don't you like? like it? I, I like I like being the swapper, and I, I like being the jester, and I like being innocent, and that's it. I don't want to be why the detective. The, I don't want to be the traitor. Innocent. What do you? Maybe zombie. Like zombie's right okay. There. I'm just terrible at it. Like everyone's got a read on me. It's it's so hard for me to be <laughs> a good bad. like lie. I just like now I'm <laughs> well, like I'm like it's gonna be like I'll be like hey look I'm the traitor. I'll be like okay well Jack's a traitor. What the what did I do? At least you get an opportunity to be read as soon when I play that stupid game with you guys, I'm dead in eight seconds. I don't even have time to read what I am before somebody kills me. Like literally, uh, like the other day, like I, I was dead silent and then and so I think Jeremy gave Gavin a golden gun and Jeremy's like, okay, kill him. And Gavin's like, Well, it's Jack. And I hadn't said a word at that point, and I was a traitor. <laughs> it was like <laughs> Yeah, but you were like sneaking around with a sniper. It was clearly you. Something I always about have it. a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> something so no, about just, it, dude. I don't. I don't the know what is, it is. Jack, I can't the, do the it. The thing's working against you is that it's obvious when you're talking, and it's obvious when, when you're not. <laughs> oh no! I guess so. I guess so. I am. Anyway, I, so I just started saying now I'm the I'm the traitor constantly, just because yeah. just to try to get away from it. Anyway, I had a great moment. Uh, we just filmed one yesterday where you know, but it, nothing annoys me more than when. I just run at someone, be weird, and shoot my gun, and someone goes, ah, you're a jester. And much like my cheese and food habits, I find that insulting that you think yeah, you do. that the jester <laughs> is making me be weird and not just I'm weird. So then I, that's when I usually shoot someone in the leg, and they go, ow! And I go, <laughs> you go ow, you all right, say. he's not a jester. Not watch a jester. what you say, how dare you? So I was doing that in a video we shot. Who knows when it'll come out? But like, I, was, I think I was a zombie. And I was running up to Ryan, and I was just going, "Die, die!" Oh, and he goes, yeah. "I don't know what you. What are you a jester? What are you?" Well, because I was I a jester and for, I was involved in it. <laughs> I did it for like forty seconds, like well beyond the okay. And now he he either doesn't hurt me or he's gonna kill me. And I just kept going, "Die!" And Ryan was so befuddled, he had no idea what was happening. And then I finally pulled the knife out and just started stabbing him. And he was like, "You are bad. What?" And I was, I got so much satisfaction out of that, just because like my my habits finally paid off. Of like, all right, he's just being a freak. This guy's a weird <laughs> freak. I just love that. And then Fiona just rages. She goes, "I'm yeah. fucking raging." She did a round where she was the detective and just was killing everyone she saw. <laughs> it was, well, it was fun. It was Yesterday's wild. stream too was fun too because uh, Alfredo was the camera, so we we recorded all locally. So we'll cut that together into a video. But Alfredo was the the, the camera for everyone, and he couldn't see other than the detective. He didn't know who was who, so he was like this uh, the, this other perspective trying to figure it out with the audience, and then they could hear us. And so it was it was fun. I think the audience dug it. I think yeah. the, the community dug it. So it worked better than I thought it would. But he was really yeah. good at it too. He did a great yeah, job. He was great of like, so we, and we specifically picked a map. We did Zanzibar uh, from Halo that was like wide open and had no ceiling. So he could kind of see everything and he would just fly to people when shit was happening and just kind of survey. But I saw a lot of comments from the from the chat watching that they were like, oh, I, I kind of like that. I don't know who's who. Because it's also so easy to watch us and see what we are and go, oh, I can tell they're lying or I can tell what they are. And then you don't see what we are. And it's like kind of puts the audience in our shoes. Or you Maybe accidentally see someone's like see someone out of the corner of your eye, oh, like God. oh, they're, they're. That, that took me <laughs> by surprise. <laughs> that took me by surprise. <laughs> this is she hates being that, held. That was so sudden. That's good. Whoa, <laughs> that whoa. He could not look more like uninterested. Yeah, uh, hi Emma. Emma. Hey, Emma. Yeah, she does not like <laughs> in arms. It, is our Halo stream coming out as a video, or is that just a stream? 
Uh, I don't know. I th- I recorded my perspective. I don't know if Gus and Jeff did though, because uh, yeah, this sort of I just up recorded for audio. I, I can't I record th- video here. I think Gus did, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think Gus said he did. Maybe but, I, so I think everyone think, but Jeff. Well, where he was thing, bragging about his 4K capture card. Oh, that's I right. Him out immediately. Um, here's the thing: we could just record Jeff's perspective from theater mode. He still has it. Not in, not in Halo One, though. Hmm. Why? Why would you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Again, no, again. Jack, your dog is messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Ellie also no, does not like tiny being held. She is, she is yeah, very, tiny. very small. Ellie. Hey, wow. show your cat's butthole and let Gavin virtually try to stick his finger in it. Damn. <laughs> no, you can't virtually. <laughs> Say, careful. I mean, you know, keep it clean. You know, not... <laughs> yeah. Poor kitty. You can't abuse my cat. She she's been my partner in crime. She sits on the chair next to me when I when I'm working at home. Yeah. Which which one of those PCs behind you, Jack? Are you actually using? Oh, Both of them. Using- so the gre- the green one is my gaming machine and the red one is my my streaming recording machine. So do you just have really so, long cables? I've got from the red machine which is the furthest one away it runs back behind me and then along this wall and then along another wall. It has a the HDMI's I think are 45 feet and I have two oh HDMI's God. running from there. Um, I had to I had to figure out a way to get USB to run that far, so I had to make my own USB to ethernet. Like I bought USB to Ethernet boxes and had to run it over Ethernet to get that distance, and so. But they're they're cool machines, and uh, and my, my, Nvidia hooked me up with them or with with one of them, and so I'm like, I want to show them off because typically computers either live under a desk or behind a monitor, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. what can I they do to have bad. them on camera? It looks, it looks awesome. And Mine's then I added the little, box. I added that little glow light too. So th- that's actually um, those are just little hue lights behind them right there. So I added that to make it look a little bit cooler. So. Anyway, yeah, spent a yeah, spent my, way too um, much money on that. My fridge is plugged in there. Like a plug, <laughs> there's like a plug right there. Um, it just powers the fridge. I got. I got, it. Yeah, I got a lamp. I got a I got lamp. A I, can turn on. <laughs> I got a lamp. Um, Pretty cool. It's an owl. Yeah. I got kolaches that I can grab. I got a baby wait, gate. Really? Nobody else. Nobody else. Oh has a wait, baby I can't gate. have them. Dude, I want to. Are you an idiot? Are you an idiot? <laughs> You're so Dude, excited. You, you with kolaches to me just means like, yeah, breakfast. <laughs> just, I forgot that we're not in the same spot. Dude, oh, I want a kolache sure. so bad now. Hey, what? They- Shipley's still got drive through. Dude, uh-huh. okay. Jeremy, I might go grab kolaches. If I do, I'll bring you a box. Hey, swing uh, by no, Wake You're and violating. Get him <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know I'll, I'll be awesome? in Waco getting salsa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring me some Jeff, chips. you'll appreciate this. You know what's I do. awesome? But having kids, the other night, I was uh, Iris and I were cleaning up her playroom. And she's got like a little kitchen. And she's got a box of like 10,000 like food items. Um, And she's like putting stuff away. And she's putting stuff away. And she picks up one. And she goes, donut. And she had like a little donut. I'm like, yeah, that's a donut. And she goes... I want pink donut. I'm like, you want a pink donut? And she was like, yeah, I want a pink donut. I'm like, okay, I'll see if I can get you a pink donut. And that was like three nights ago, maybe two nights ago. So then this morning I got up early and I was like, I have, maybe they're still open. They got drive through. I went over there. They were still open. And the only reason I went, I got kolaches and donuts, but the only reason I went was to get pink donuts. And then uh, she, she got up today and she was like, you know, getting, using the potty and brushing her teeth and getting dressed. And we got her down for breakfast. And I, and I was like, guess what I got for you? And I opened the box and she went, pink donut. And I was uh-huh. like, it was like yes. the most rewarding thing ever where she was like, I said I wanted a pink donut. You got a fucking pink donut. That's awesome. Is essentially what she said. She didn't say that, but that's what she meant. Absolutely. And then Michael got kolaches out of it. So I wouldn't have gone for myself. I don't give a shit. I would have just eaten some cheese. But she wanted a pink donut, so I bought her a pink donut. You're a good dad. <laughs> Another one. All the all the animals decided to join the room. This is Reamer. He hates he hates being held. I, you have yet to say an animal likes being held. That's I can't true. help well, but actually, notice. Cooper likes being held, and Cooper is laying down right over here now. So if he comes over here, I'll grab him. Yeah, uh, Scoot. I threw after Chump. I threw my 
leather jacket on the chair over there. Scooter has yet to move. He's just been sleeping on it all day. Zipper just walked in. But yeah, they come and go. They usually don't bug me too much during the streams. <laughs> don't yeah. break what I just said. Cooper's had the yeah. habit of just walking across my keyboards on my desk, and it's like, all right. So, you know, just like, just like a, a child would. Don't eat the plastic. Oh. So today is what? April 2nd? Yeah, buddy. It is. So if you live in the state of Texas, which the, those of us on this podcast do, we're quarantined until April 30th at a minimum. Yep. So we, our, our, this month is only two days. This is two days into uh, we had 28 more days of this at a minimum. Yeah, it was. I think yep. the initial shelter in place was 13th. April 13th yeah. is yeah. kind of what we planned for. And then it was like, uh oh, nope. I feel I feel like everyone should be expecting at least June. Yeah, we, I mean, wow, it's June. not a, it's not a crazy expectation. It's only another month. The thing yeah. is, there's fuckers running around out there fucking it all up, making it take yeah. longer. You hear about these fuckers from UT that just went to Mexico? Chartered yeah. a plane to go to Mexico. Chartered, yeah. a, chartered a plane, got back like two days ago or some shit. Forty four people positive for coronavirus. That wow. sucks. Great. Thanks, Austin. Well, <laughs> great. Great. Great, but there's there's nothing well, coherent about the lockdown. It's just it's just like state by state, city by city. It's just all it, it, yeah, do the whole thing willy nilly. It's all well, willy -nilly. That's the, the the problem is like the a lot of governors in uh, that control the states they haven't been making like state declaration lockdowns like New York and California have, but almost everywhere in the South they're not saying okay we're shutting down everything. Like Governor that's Abbott, our our shithead of a governor here. He he basically took himself out of it where he was like, oh, I'm not going to make the declaration, but if the cities want to, they can because he doesn't want to be the bad guy no that shut down the state, which sucks. Yeah, but then he eventually had to. No, he hasn't done it yet. That's yeah. I just he he's put the protective order till April thirtieth for this. Across that's the not state that's not record. that's not a state lockdown though. Like what what Austin is is different from like if you went to like I don't know uh, Midland right now, it's different than what we have here in Austin. There is no state governing one. It's mm, it's all yeah. like it's all city by city cases. He said like that you should you should stay at home, but there's no there's no order that you have to. So if you go to like small cities like Clifton or you know Odessa or something like that, like they they can do whatever the hell they want. Well, like Dallas and Waco, percent. they were the first, right? Then Dallas, Dallas was go the first, first, and then Waco. And then, then Houston was like, "We're not going to," and then very quickly, like, "Okay, we're going to." And so they, they did. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it just makes sense, you know. I, like, it, you know, it's unfortunate that <laughs> chances are that there will Bless be you. there's gonna be a lockdown for a Thank while you. until things die down, mostly just till the hospitals are cleared out, um, or like slow down and can catch up. Then they'll probably like don't expect. So all of a sudden, everything's back to normal. Like lockdown yeah. off, everything's like, go do whatever. It's probably going to like then go back to, we had the thing of like no more than 10 people. Like it'll go back to that. And then once, if people start getting sick again, then it will close in again and just do waves and waves until it Steffi, you know, passes Steffi by. just said in chat that uh, San Marcos is not in lockdown right now. So oh, it's wow. just, I, uh, yeah. right next to us. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the problem with a, a, a governor has to step in and be like, everyone's under the same rules. Shut it all down. Like, that's why yeah, apparently be... people people in chat are saying Florida is going on lockdown starting tomorrow. Yeah, I think but, Mississippi uh, is too, finally. Alabama's still holding out, though. Still holding out stupid. <laughs> still holding out. <laughs> Does that, is that not ever done at the president level, though? Can he lock down the country if he wants? Yeah, he probably he, could. He yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely he can. But He's, he's done everything else to. he wanted to do. <laughs> That's true. He like he well, banned he banned a bunch of did, countries that one time, didn't he? From do you see the yeah. governor? Was it was it the governor of Georgia uh, today? Yeah, yeah. Kemp. Okay, yep. Governor Wait, Kemp. We said, didn't know, Jack. We had yeah. no idea. We had no he literally idea said today we we had no idea that non symptomatic people could could pass the virus on. Today he said that it's been out there for four months now, and he's oh god, it just the the amount of of shit that's going on and the stupidity shown by so many people is is so frustrating and just pisses me off yeah i mean yeah at the at this point uh and i think i it's always very important to me to preface conversations like this by saying none of us are doctors so please get no, only please get information yeah. from the proper sources from the I, who all, and, all and I know, like that. not the, the band that the me feel Health better is when someone says a date, like it will probably be done by this date. I just add a couple of months to that just to mentally <laughs> prepare myself 
yeah for that not yeah. to be the case i mean honestly we're we're trying to work or what the goal is is trying to work toward like a herd immunity at least until a vaccine is made and which is in all honesty probably a ways out um, well apparently someone in in pittsburgh i think today they 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 found a vaccine that seems to be working but then it has to go through clinicals which is going to take like a year to get yeah. approved well, where yeah, it can that's, then spread. The, that's the thing isn't it like a bunch of people have had the back vaccine at this point they're just yeah. waiting to see what happens with those people yeah. Also, much. how much There's did they get testing. paid? God damn, that's crazy. Yeah, like literally the testing they did in was it in Seattle? I think they did like some some tests on some vaccines, and they were like, yeah, they were given the green light to just skip animal testing and just go straight to people. Wow. And I'm like, that's terrifying. Like, yeah. you know, hats off to those people for trying that. But that's give just those like, people a medal oh. of some sort. Isn't that how the Incredible Hulk was made? <laughs> it's like I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> We're skipping the rats straight yeah. to the people. So, anyway, it's super frustrating, and really, what yeah. it comes down to is like I'm not personally concerned about myself. If I got it, it would suck. I'd probably be okay. But my dad is, you know, in his 70s, and my grandmother just turned 100, and it's like, yeah, I don't want them to get sick because it's gonna be horrible for them and anyone who's older and immunocompromised. It's like the idea of of idiots going like, well, it's not gonna hurt me. It's like it's, I don't give a shit about you. I give a shit about the people who do give a shit. I mean, so. you say that, though, but there are people without any pre-existing conditions who are young, who are still dying. It oh, yeah, happen. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You just you never, never know. Really, you never truly know how your body will react. Yeah. Yeah. Why play uh, Russian or, roulette with a fucking virus you can't see? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, that's and what the spring though, breakers have the mentality of. They're like, I'm young, I'll be fine, right? It's like, you know what? You probably will, but the person you pass it to won't be. Exactly. Yeah. You know? And it's like, they don't think about that. And, Jack, you may be a young 45-year-old man. But we never know how <laughs> you'll find. You never know. You never know. You son of a bitch. What do you, what do you, what do you got, Jeff? What do you got what do you there, bud? I'm eating. I'm eating soup dumplings. Uh, Ooh, it looks like soup. a dumper. Oh, that sounds good. Awesome. Like it looks like a good dumper. You got a dumper oh, spoon too. Out of the spoon oh. and everything, Jack. That's like when we were in Taiwan. Yeah, remember that, dude? That, like it was just I, like I, that. I, Jeremy, I I found my my diploma saying I I took the the class to get uh to learn how to make bubble tea. Oh, when we made it in my mouth and yeah. they looked really insulted. Yeah. <laughs> Why did we put yeah. it in your mouth and I shook your head? Take that <laughs> tradition. Jeff looks like he's reeling. It was hot. It's good it's so it tastes hot and oh. tasty, though. So you're using oh, the patented I'm too white to use chopstick spoon. Uh, no, this right? is like what comes with the with soup dumplings typically. Yeah, but they, chopsticks really come with it too. And you get some broth with it. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I, I think the soup filled dumplings you're meant to have with a spoon on you, because then you can like I suck on the so. liquid. Yeah, as you eat. You can suck on the liquid with your mouth too, right? Dude, I got the whole thing. I got the soup dumplings <laughs> right here. It's like <laughs> so it's legit. Oh man. So oh, what do what do you what do you, what do you guys what? What do y'all miss the most? I, I miss the Alamo Draft House. I miss seeing theaters. <laughs> yeah, man. Same here. It makes me sad. I had no life before this, so it's not much has changed. Um, Same. I miss Amazon Prime now and getting it whenever I wanted, and uh, now I can't because it's always full. Uh, I, I and, miss um, and going to the movies once a month. I miss being able to go. I feel like my nephew was born at the wrong time. Like I, <laughs> I really love seeing him, and now I, I might not see him until he's <laughs> like a year old, for Christ's sake. Wow. That, that's what I miss time. Yeah, look at a picture. Gavin, there's this program I called did. Skype. I saw a really interesting commercial where this, <laughs> this old man and his stupid looking grandson <laughs> made this video. Yeah. Never heard of it. <laughs> you, should, you should check it out. <laughs> I miss hours meaning something. Like I miss there being an end to the workday and like clear yeah, up my dude. Line, that kind of yeah. stuff. I miss weekends being weekends. Yeah, finishing the workday before Nook's cranny closes. <laughs> how's your animal crossing town animal jeff crossing. now that you have a Jeremy full mouth confused. man <laughs> it's wow oh don't get him started look at that face i just it's like it's like it's this bullshit system where and, and you know and michael's correctly correct in that i because i don't have nine thousand switches like he does i should i have to and he, or just the four uh, that or I, I just I find I think it's burdensome to only allow one island per switch, which <laughs> you know it's fine. My girlfriend and I are fine cohabitating, except it's her island. So Tom Nook and Blathers just they they ask her to do shit, and me it's like, oh, you're here too. Fuck off. 
<laughs> they don't you deal with you. Then he gives you a shovel. How about that? Damn. Jeff, I can loan you a switch. Well, it's too late you. now. Aaron. Mm. It's you not buy too late. Mm. You get right back into oh, it. How am I going to get it from you? Use it yet? I don't Never need too late. I love the option, but I don't want your Corona switch. I don't know how to get what? it. I don't know how to be oh, safe. Oh, Damn. Sit down. I give it to Sarah. She's yeah, okay. don't say. She brought my old man mask. Yeah, yeah. Dude. It, it's never too late, Jeff. Three days grace told and us. I'll that. wipe it down, seal it up, give it to Sarah. I'm making pass along to you. I'm making the best out of a non-ideal situation. It just it basically what it boils down to is if you want to play Animal Crossing and you want to be on your own island where. Tom Nook and Blathers will talk to you and treat you like an adult and give you responsibilities <laughs> and allow you to, to perform those tasks. Then you need to buy Animal Crossing and a Switch. Yeah, buddy. A, a, a Let's Watch where Jeff just exists on Emily's Island and can't do anything for an hour. <laughs> That's, that'd be it's good this. entertainment. It's like, I, I like catching cherry blossoms when they fly through the air, the leaves. That's about all good I can shit. do. I can hit rocks for a while. It's good shit. <laughs> All right, now, hang on. Now, I'm, now I'm getting blasted here for having four switches. Here's how it works. I got a switch. Lindsay four. got a switch. Hang on. Calm down, Mr. <laughs> He's got two X children. Boxes. Okay. I got a yeah, switch. Go Lindsay got a switch. Then like a year and a half, two years later, they came out with a better switch with a better battery life. So I bought the better one because I wanted my shit to last longer. Then Colorware was like, yo, you want to switch? And I was like, awesome. I'll take one. And you got the same goddamn one. And I'm like, that's cool. So now I have two new ones and two old ones. I yeah, use yeah. one. Lindsay uses one. Iris has one. And the other one, it's on wait for Luna. I Boom. just made yeah, I mean, a mistake. I bought a switch for reasonable. Animal Crossing for two people. What I should have done that was, crazy. was buy two copies of Animal Crossing, which I had to do anyway. And two switches so that we could both play a sixty dollars game. I just but, I didn't realize the folly of uh, the error of my ways. Now, Jeff, do you have physical follies. copies of the game, or are they digital copies of the game? Uh, I had to download digital copies, Jack. All right. So here's the fun thing, Jeffrey. So if I'm not mistaken, tell me, Michael, you'll know this if I'm wrong. If you buy a new switch, do you then have to rebuy the digital copy of the game on that switch? Uh, no, no, not if you have the same no? like, account that owns it. Yeah, you got to log okay. in your account. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah the, the, it's it's like a much more annoying version of Xbox. Okay, because right? that, yeah, that, that, that used to be like, different, right? It used to be tied to the actual console itself, right? It used to be like you used to have to like transfer your account back and forth is what it was. You couldn't have okay. like multiple accounts existing on different switches or something to that effect. It was much it used to be much more annoying. It's okay. less annoying now. You can when, have when I, like when I swapped what? my old because because I got that colorless switch and then I gave away my old one. But before I did that, I had to like just annihilate that one basically. Like you can't have all your stuff on multiple switches. So I had to like suck the life out of my old switch to make it into my new switch. You have to start you as your vary, like home you switch, can, your you main can, switch. You can do that now. You can do that because okay. that's what Iris's switch is. Like my oh, okay. my switch is my home switch because the annoying thing about that is um there's certain games that have to check if so my switch is my home switch and then um iris just has my account on her switch and it's like as long as she's playing on my account she can play any of the games i own not at the same time like i can't play on my switch on my account and she plays on her switch on my account like Xbox can be logged in at the same time, but like without buying anything extra, she can play all the shit that I own because she uses my account on the old switch. Um, but you have to have your home switch, uh, to play like shit when it checks that you mm. own it offline. Right. So like usually I'm home, but say I want to play in the car. There's some games where it's like, we have to check online to make sure you own this, like the shit that Xbox was going to do and then they didn't do. So it's like, oh, hang on. You're not connected to the internet. You can't fucking play this. If it's your home okay. switch, you can play anything at any time, except okay. for Nintendo and Super Nintendo online. They're just like, fuck you. You always have to be uh, online. Someone in chat pointed out that it was the 3DS was the one where it was tied to the actual console no matter what. So I think that was probably the last time I tried to move something and it was like just a like nightmare. I feel like maybe even if that wasn't the switch, like something was different. I feel like it was way more inconvenient than it is now. Um, 
But I don't buy the only game I've ever bought for Iris was fucking Paw Patrol on a roll. Bullshit. Costs forty dollars. <laughs> All you do is go to the right and jump. It's outrageous. <laughs> it's Damn. absolutely outrageous. It's like a three dollar indie game, but because it's Paw Patrol licensed game, forty dollars. I'm outraged <laughs> by it. That her switch is filled with like two dollar like drawing games. All the shit that any adult sees and goes, Why does this exist? I now know why it exists. She's got like a puzzle game. It's like three bucks and she's got like 200 puzzles and she can just like drop the little puzzle pieces in. She's got coloring games that cost like $2 and then you buy more pictures for like another $3. Um, but I don't buy her shit as far as like, she just gets to play whatever I own. Um, and then Luna, I assume will just do like Lindsay's account when that kid is another month old and I go play it. Play it now, and I shove it in your little baby hands. Until unless Jeff takes it, and he can get a whole new island. I'll shove it in his little big boy hands. You know, I don't want to cause any unintended problems in your family. There's four of you. Three switches probably doesn't work. He probably Here's the thing, you, Jeff. I'll just I'll just buy a fifth one. It's not a big Come deal. on now, come on. <laughs> yeah, if it's, if it's like uh, if it's easy to move between them, I can see the benefit of having Michael. Michael, you got to be careful. You're turning into the Rooster Teeth podcast, talking about no, spending all this money that's, on. That's shit. what I was yeah. going for. That's what I was going for. I I tried to reconnect with the audience, and then I severed ties immediately. <laughs> I love. Well, as I, 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 mentioned, I, saw... I mentioned last week about my setup, and I was like, "Oh, I have two TVs," and people were like, "Big fucker guy, big two TV guy." This TV behind me is two hundred. Big tough guy behind a TV. <laughs> it's got two TVs. <laughs> big tough guy. Two dollars TV that I bought during Black Friday. It's not an eight thousand dollar TV. I have one nice TV and one piece of shit TV. I, I, when I said movies. when I was uh, when I exclaimed at your four switches, the chat seemed to want to remind me that I used a phantom for a webcam. You did I don't do that. Had it. What is that? What is that comparison? I didn't buy a phantom to do that. It was no, it was over there, you? and then I plugged it in. I don't. What? What is that? What's the? It was uh, just on the ground there. It was, it's not yeah. mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rooster Teeth Phantom. I was using it. It was over there in the camera pile. How dare you? <laughs> the camera pile. Gavin, don't you know you yeah, pay for the usage? It's oh, not okay. as if Gavin Gavin went to the BH video catalog and said, I'm going to find the most expensive webcam on earth and buy it. Yeah. No, <laughs> that, that, is, that is cheaper. This picture here is cheaper than me going and buying another webcam because the one on top of my monitor is shit. I'll be honest with you, Gavin. Yeah. The, like the cameras are, they're super expensive. You know, there's like all these different, you, you had the, the trash can that has the motion detecting stuff like that that I give you shit for. Nothing. <laughs> It like set that off more than, than when you just told me to throw out a soda from P. Terry's one time. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, when we were across the street. That was <laughs> you were across the street. Right? Here's here's what he screamed across the street. Finn it. <laughs> we I had, had the, gab soda. It was, from when P. We, it was when we it was when we filmed the heist thing. Good yeah, at yeah, being bad. Yeah. That was wasteful. I, I was holding my, my camera on a tripod. I didn't have any free hands. And we were on opposite sides of the street. And you were like, idiot, you forgot your drink. And Going I went to the, all the same stuff. place. Yeah, I, was, I looked at all the stuff in my hands. And I was like, man, I have to wait for the lights to cross. I was just like, chuck it. Bid it, Jeremy. <laughs> Bid it. it. Unreal. Uh, that was the moment. I was like, oh. Now, here's the thing. That was the moment. If someone saw me. They saw me taking a picture a little bit ago. They pointed it out in the chat. But... Two of my cats hate each other. Ooh. Zipper and Scooter really don't like each other. But Zipper is currently using Scooter as a pillow. And I was oh. like, that never happens. So I was like, I got to get a picture of that. Oh. That's adorable. They're cute. Hey, can I use a second to ask the audience for some help? Go for it. Yeah. So I was watching. Uh, it's going to be a long rambling story. But I've I've been uh, I signed up for the Criterion Collection recently, and I've been watching a bunch of uh, old Italian and French films from the like the forties to the seventies. And I watched this Italian film called I Knew Her Well, and it was a pretty good movie. Uh, you should check it out if you want to, or don't. I don't give a fuck. But uh, the lady, the the protagonist in the movie, was reading what appeared to be a comic book from I guess Italy or France in the seventies. It was Italy. Uh, or the 60s, and it was called Demon Ayak, like D-E-M-O-N-A-I-K. And it appeared to be like a weird satanic S&M spy thriller kind of thing. And I thought that art was cool. So I started to read about it. And then I bought some stuff on eBay. And um, I got these three books. Like, here's uh -oh. one. 
Um, nice. Like real, I, I like can, I can feel Michael Lindblad like, sitting weird. over the, the the thing. Like, oh, we can't show that. Uh, like, it's not satanic as much as it is just like it's about like a criminal, like a spy. This one's a little, a little who uh, who uh, people try to stop, and he's like evil, kind of like a like a Hank Scorpio type thing. But I I can't find any resources about it online, but uh, other than a, a little bit on Wikipedia. If you are from another country and you're familiar with this 60s property, could you hit me up and let me know about it via Twitter or where I can find Ooh. comics about it? Or if there ever was ever translated into English, I, the fact that I can't find any information about it makes me want, makes me more interested in this than anything else on earth. And it's been plaguing me for like three weeks now. And I'm desperate to find some of these original comics or if they've ever been translated in English and read them. But even on eBay, you can't get them, at least in America. They're just, they're, they're non-existent or they're very expensive. I don't want anybody to spend money. But I was, I was wondering if anybody outside of America, maybe in Italy or France, who's watching, uh, has ever heard of this comic. It, it was like, it was a spinoff of this other comic called Diabolic that I think was more popular. But anyway, I've just become fascinated by it and I can't find anything on the internet about it. So that's just my, 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 my plea to the audience. If you have a familiarity with this brand, I would love to learn more about it. That's all. That cool. Way. And that's that. There, there you it go. is. I was there checking the chat to see if anybody knew anything about it. Yeah, there, it's just yet. now getting to the point where Jeff is starting to ask for help. So. I just want to know. Jeff's been asking for help for a long time. We just haven't heard his cries. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then Haunter season two finale happened. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, I, I give you props for the commitment for wearing that hat this entire stream. It looks cool. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I'm, cool. a, I'm a captain's hat guy now. Yeah, so. you should yeah. wear a suit jacket, though. <sighs> if only I hadn't thrown it, in a heap. <laughs> thrown it in a heap. Now it's a heap jacket. Oh, no. Hey, Steffi, you tried. But she was very upset it. with us. She was she was lighting up chat earlier, like at the start of the uh, the podcast. Yeah, I even took off the the sweat. It was just too hot. <laughs> it's warm, dude. Like, I've been sweating for the last toasty. thirty minutes. It's toasty. So yeah, warm, this this yeah. hoodie was warm, a mistake. Sweaty. <laughs> oh, starting to rain outside over here, so that's good. Well, that it means it's starting rain. to rain outside oh, here. I, then definitely. I can tell because my knees hurt. It's the oh, end times. Oh, I can, oh, I can oh, feel oh. it in there. Hello. We have a lot of people in chat are saying MST3K did the original series finale for that. That I mean, series? it's a comic book. I don't know that it was ever a movie property. If it was, Apparently I it was, didn't show up in the searches. They're saying in France it was called Satanic. That was it. I think and, that might be a different one. But yeah. And they say, yeah. someone says, Jeff, search for the word Giallo, G-I-A-L-L-O next to it. Probably find some more aficionados. So. Oh, Giallo is a, it's a, it's a kind of film, <clears throat> uh, like a kind of horror film. I'm, I'm familiar with the God. Giallo as a genre. That's where a lot of like Dario Argento <laughs> stuff Shooter falls there. in. This is different. This is these are comics. They, they they may be similar in tone, but this there's no film properties behind this. I don't think. Okay. Are you saying there's two cats there, Jeremy? There's two cats there. Scooter is his head is just barely visible <laughs> under Zipper's head. Ooh, <laughs> and normally Poker's the one that disappears. Also, I couldn't if you didn't notice in that shot. There's the to go margarita. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> right. See the tape. We, we the moved order. it from the top. So yeah, there's Zipper's the orange one, but Scooter's head is right here. So Zipper's just Aww. on his head, Aww. and they're on my leather jacket, so that's why he can't. He kind of blends in. They love each other. They do. No, they don't. They fucking hate each other. The amount of hissing <laughs> and yelling I hear. Whoa. Well, yeah, Zipper's like, a he... big like like <clears throat> cat, and Scooter's Whoa. like really small, and Zipper just he's a hench cat. He's hench. It's fat. He's hench. Katie's talked about like, oh, maybe we should get another dog someday. And I'm like, we have five animals. We have four cats and a dog, and somehow they yeah. all get along. And it's Oof. a delicate balance of I don't know how it happened, but literally all all five of the animals are friendly. No one really gets pissed off. Like they they'll fight, but like play fight. Then like Meg that's, that's that. we're, stop mess with that. Meg asked you if four cats was too many because she wants four. Um, and you said yes. <laughs> yeah. And I yeah. and I was I get, like, yes. <laughs> I mean, at some point, it's easier just to have a kid. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because you know, you can just you just cut a hole in your garage door, and your cat goes out, and sh you know, <laughs> a kid goes out and just shits in a box. And you clean it up twice I mean, a week. It, I'm, it, I'm more on your parenting style and how you train them. Sure, 
you know, I'm working on it. I, I spent about I spent about what a hundred dollars on food for five animals a month, and uh, that's quite a lot. Yeah, but you know, I can imagine how much is it for one kid a month. It's not, it's not I, that bad. Nothing. I don't. Yeah. I say, the, Iris says I'm hungry, and then I say do something about it. Damn. <laughs> Get a job. Shit with Millie. And then it's yeah. all invested. Then once you're old, yeah. you're like, yes, okay. it's paid off. Great, and I'm tired. <laughs> Protect we'll somebody me, little one. I've had I've had babies and puppies, and I think babies are easier to take care of than puppies. You guys have would, a puppy would, fight. I would probably disagree it. with you on that, but I, I've never okay, raised a babies listen, though. Babies sleep most of the time. They don't chew on shit. They don't piss and shit everywhere. They do it in the night. Michael, Michael, Michael just cool. for a second went. Mm. <laughs> they chew on shit. They chew like crazy. I'll tell yeah, you that. but they chew on the teething stuff. But they get Your over kids it. aren't. Ch- like, look at Gavin's headphones. <laughs> That's true. I was chewing on Gavin's true. headphones. Not yet. She's not. <laughs> One day. Go bite him. Bite, headphones. Headphones. bite him in half. Bite him. Bite him right now. Assert dominance. Gav, if you just suddenly... Oh, but that's your microphone. If you just cut out because yeah. you took your microphone cable and just bit it in half, I'd give oh, you I'd, 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 I'm I'm sure. a lot of money. <laughs> Although this isn't XLR. It's USB, so it's probably thinner. Oh, there you go. Oh, man. I'm trying to think how much money I'd pay. <laughs> Just to see Gavin chomp through that and suddenly we can't hear him anymore. I'm trying to think what I'd pay for that. It'd be so It'd probably funny. probably shock my mouth, wouldn't it? Ah, I don't give it a shot. Try yes. it. Yes. I'll buy you a new cable. <laughs> All right. Uh, post show. <laughs> All right. going nuts down there. There's a lot of craziness they're going. Just, they're just running amok. Dude, most of it you can't hear because these microphones are so... You have to be so close. But, we, we dude, we... Recorded Awa this morning, and my children were screaming for almost the entirety <laughs> of it in the background. There's a bunch of parts where, like, Lindsay and I are just looking over our shoulder, and we're staring at each other. Uh, and not, like, crying or someone's hurt, just, uh, you know, like, Luna's at the point where she can scream at the top of her lungs, and she just does it out of excitement. And then Iris will just start doing it, because she goes, oh, she's doing it, I'm going to do it too. And then vice versa, if Iris starts doing something, Luna will try to copy her. And and they don't even do it at the same time. It'll be like ah 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 ah, and they just like scream back and forth at each other. That so that was just happening right now, and I was like, oh, "What's up?" Screaming fish. There's, there's just dead silence. It was just, I think Luna's taking a nap, but it was just Iris screaming, and I'm like, "What do you need?" And she just ignored me. So I was like, oh, "I guess you need nothing." You just she's just like nothing, dude. I'm just screaming. What do you want? I'm keeping a very close eye. Like I keep turning back because good things don't last very long. And Ooh. just a second ago, I heard like, like a whimper and I turned around and zipper just had his whole mouth around scooter's neck. <laughs> 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 and now they're asleep again. All right. Whatever. Oh. You know, whatever works for them. And that's that anyway. That's yeah, that. Right. Right. That's, that's, that's it. It's a solid wind down coming on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got a, so. a little message from Tyler here. Make sure you check out Inside Gaming live at 5 p.m. If you're hanging out in the Ooh. RTTV chat, you know, it's watching stuff that's uh, regardless of your time zone. It's uh, 54 minutes from now. We'll be gone. Uh, and Inside Gaming, we'll be playing some games. I, I imagine. Was I was looking oh, at the I, calendar I, for next week for the Achievement Hunters live streams. It's all entirely different from what we shot earlier today. So uh, I see uh, we might be playing some Mario Kart with Chilled Chaos, which is exciting. Ooh. Might be playing some GTA with Funhouse now, apparently. Get a, maybe week. we got to figure that out because yeah, they so. play on a different system than we do. Yeah. And uh, we're trying to get in the, uh, I think uh, like Fiona and Alfredo really went against the Valorant beta. And so I think yes. they might might make that happen next week as well so we're gonna try to make that that game happen for us if we can we're really gonna give that one a good shot happen alone we're not we're not gonna uh we're not gonna fortnite Fortnite this one yeah Yeah. we're not gonna fortnite it's not in it i think uh (laughs) he wasn't the he wasn't the only one i think the uh (laughs) the inside gaming uh content tonight they're doing a dance party too so you know if you've been cooped up you want to do a little bit of dance and cut a rug with autumn and the crew yeah everybody loves dancing Cutting yep. red. Exciting and times. That's the other. Uh, yep, there we go again. Yeah, yep. baby. Yep. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I have too much power here. I have too much power. 
certainly. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh my God, there <laughs> he's just he's worse so which than broadcast. Take, which yeah, take baby. of yeah, baby is the most is the one that we usually yeah, use? Yeah, baby. Yeah, but like, is that, that like his, was that his third one or was that his first one? That's why no, I, like I think that was the fourth one. No, yeah, that baby. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah wind up. Yeah, baby. I think that's I think that one. I think that was it. That yeah, one. baby. That was it. That's yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Well, baby Yoda is this drinking. is the point of the podcast <laughs> where Jeff is about to lose it. <laughs> yeah, can we replace for? Can we replace all the pictures of Baby Yoda with pictures of Jack not watching Dave? <laughs> this is every picture of Jack. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna take a photo. Never seen the show. I'm gonna take a photo of me watching Dave, and that's gonna be up next time. <laughs> Jack, Jack, just like check it out. If you don't like the first episode, just make sure you watch episode two. Apparently, that's where it really kicks off. You'll be hooked at after episode end. two. Yeah, at that's the, the end hook. of episode two, that's when you'll know I need to keep watching this show. And Jeff, yeah, I yeah. got that loner switch. Just gotta have Sarah swing by, go. pick it up. We're all going to watch I'll Dave use, right now. I'll use one <laughs> of my uh, very valuable Clorox wipes on the switch. Actually, you know what? I don't even have to. It's been in a package for like in a case for months. I could just hand it off. It's clean. You're too kind, Michael. Thank you. Bro did broadcast just get rid of Jack? Is that what just happened? Yeah. Probably. Probably. God, he Probably. Was. He's, ba he's back. Okay. <laughs> don't him. I, didn't, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I don't know wow, if they muted hard. me too. Because I was like, hey, we, let's just everyone watch Dave right now. I can, I can no, watch. No, no, no we heard. We oh, there it is. Gone. There gone. There gone. Okay. There you go. Well, uh, the itchy trigger fingers all around on broadcast on Jack. I don't know what's about to happen. The fight's about to break out. We should probably wrap it up here. Yeah. That's pretty um, cool, though. I just I just saw that YouTube Gaming tweeted a, a, a clip from Krimis. Oh, yeah? Uh, what they tweet? What clip? They tweeted, uh, no heist not working? is working. No, YouTube Gaming <laughs> tweeted, no heist is complete without a minivan. And it's a clip of us driving in a minivan in Crown yeah, Masterminds. It's pretty so awesome. Crimmies, man. Oh, that, it's that's just fucked up, right? It's, it's so fucked up. Fucked up. It's We're going to try again. You guys, it's you guys should make your own version of it, of that heist. We, we've, we've talked about it, but the thing is, do it. yeah, if we, if we, we talked about doing an honor rule style of like, you know, mm -hmm. just don't die. And if you do, bum cheese, but like, the whole thing with bum cheese is like you gotta slam it, and then it's like this risky thing of did I do it's it just in not time? There. The tension yeah. just there. isn't there. There's you a lot of comments. Off. There's a lot of comments that are like, guys, you gotta start loving yourself. You gotta stop trying this. <laughs> like we've tried. No, so right. <laughs> we have to try it one yeah. more time. We have a reason to try it again. We're gonna try it again. And Gavin made a really stinky logo. He made a he whole made, made a Gavin crew. made a new crew specifically for this. Logo. He made a new crew, and the best part about the crew, which I'm sure you and Ryan didn't notice, Jeremy, was the crew description. No, I did not notice the crew description. It's, it's amazing. I loved it. Is it? Um, I gotta look. He it wrote up. a he 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 made a really gross logo, and I don't want to butcher it. Uh, for like I don't know it verbatim, but essentially, uh, we find it on Social Club right now. Um. Yeah, I mean, go for it. If you've got it, oh, let's close no. it out. So, so the next attempt was like, let's try Gavin hosting a crew. We'll all join a brand new crew. He'll host it, so he can't get kicked out if he if he's the CEO or whatever, the leader of the crew. So he made it, and you know, we're unfortunately planning on trying one more time, and it won't work. And then, and then, hopefully, we're done forever, and it will be and, over. And and when it doesn't work, we can just move straight into some lovely ODST. ODST, that? that's correct. But that's what yeah, we're going to yeah. do. And we you know what? It might be that. hard, but it'll friggin' work. <laughs> it will work. <laughs> is it the crew motto? Yeah. Uh -huh. What is it? The crew motto. I just opened up the, the, the crimmy crew here. Uh, crew motto. Doomsday Heist Criminal Masterminds 4 progress has been reset. That's, That's literally the motto. <laughs> yep. And it's it, a motto has never been more appropriate for any crew ever. Oh I my saw god. That yeah. And I was just like, no. Gav, yeah, it looks awful. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's based on everything put, that Michael hates. Jeremy, put about it on camera. Other logo. Jeremy, put that oh, on, it's on camera. Up, but it's on my other computer. Oh, okay. Jeremy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can slack it to myself and put it up. 
Uh, crap on. is what it is. It's crap. It's it's, pre- it's crap. It's, it's pretty bad because because you hated on the other logo that it was some like ninja men dancing. It's on it or three something. weird men is the is the Stram Tam crew. Well, because it was based off of me, Trevor, and Matt. Thing. It's three uh... weird men, and here's here's what bothers me the most, which I've said so many times. Like it's not even just the weird men. It's not even the the symbol. It's that the it. logo is a fucking square, and I hate how it looks on the side of my car. It's just a big square, like you got a it, black Jack? square. Got it. There it is. Jack's yeah. got oh. it. Yep. Oh. So now, so now it's <laughs> two <laughs> weird pink men uh, with a pink lightning bolt in the middle. But at least it's a circle. <laughs> at least but, it's a black circle. Gav. That's then you can scroll down for the motto. So wait, Gav, there, there's that one that says designed by Gavino Free. Yeah. Uh-huh. But then there's Prim. that other one that says designed by Rockstar Games. Well, it had it had a default. It started with oh, it's just interesting one. that the default one kind of looks like Achievement Hunter. It looks like the Achievement Hunter logo kind when of. When like Gavin first said uh, that he made and the has logo, the things. when he first said he made the logo, I saw that one and I said, yeah. "Oh wow, Gab, this is cool. You did a great job. Yeah, good job." Logo. And then he's like, "That's not it." And I went, "Oh." <laughs> and then I saw that new one and I became upset. So yeah, Stramtam has the three dudes because it was me, Matt, and Trevor because we made it for stream team videos. Oh, okay. oh, there's the other. Because there's they the wanted the Jeff, they paid homage to Team Stream when we did that. Remember? Oh uh, yeah, Team Stream. That was me and you. You what took everything game? from us, Mike. That was me and you. That was me and you. you. Uh, it was. I can't remember, but we wasn't it South by where we played that game. Yeah, it was at South by. We beat that game in a live stream. Beat at the that whole dang bar. game. And that was when Team Stream was created, and and Matt, Jeremy, and Trevor said, "Let's steal it." But name it uh, Stream Team. <laughs> it's like months after Stream <laughs> Team. Story of my thing. life. <laughs> it's like months later and we're like they've taken everything from well, us it's public domain <laughs> right public domain if people didn't know about it it didn't exist like uh, i remember I was, jeff and i were like uh, team stream believe me hit, like worldwide believe me no one knew about it <laughs> guarantee i can tell you that much for sure when, when i was oh, making boy. the new crimmies ugly logo i was also in the back of my mind thinking what could end up on a shirt that absolutely no one would buy and that is also yeah. one of the reasons. Yeah, yeah. that's, I think well, that's the next one. <laughs> Even if we did Krimis and saw that. Real salad chalice there, Gavin. <laughs> yeah. 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 Real my phone number there, Gavin. Mm-hmm. What was the worst? <laughs> it, what was the worst selling AH shirt? Was it the phone number or the salad chalice? Or was it either of those? Do we have uh, that track? Do we, do we count my phone number as an Achievement Hunter shirt? Uh, maybe not. I don't know if that counts as an achievement hunter shirt. I wouldn't, I wouldn't it was so. probably salad chalice or maybe idiot. This do better. Is, you can yeah. do better. You, you, can, you can't read it at all. <laughs> it says do better. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. Small. Hey, Jeff, is our merchandise still on Zoomies? Can people go to the Zoomies and pick up our stuff there? Well, that's a great point, Jack. I'm glad you asked. Yeah. the uh, We have a line of merchandise in uh, Zoomies in stores, uh, select stores, but also available online. Uh, where they can buy a, a special line of achieve wear that's um, new, new colorways, new looks, n- like new versions of stuff we've. Uh, so it's all brand new. Uh, but yeah, they can buy achieve stuff, kind of like the you can do better shit that uh, Michael and the other one Jeremy are wearing right now on Zoom. Well, yeah, he knew my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hello. Mm-hmm. All right, <laughs> get out of here. Anybody? Any uh, yeah, probably. Pre- any other pressing yeah, matters before we adjourn this meeting? All right, Jeff's got to pee. Well, thanks everybody for watching. You know, stay safe out there, but stay safe in there. Don't leave if you don't have to. No, uh, safe. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the sponsors and the first members. And we will see you tomorrow when we're streaming again at uh, 1 p.m. right here. Yes. And if hang you, around if for more live time, streaming. Hang out. For, uh, check out Inside Gaming at five. That's uh, yeah, a short 43 minutes from now. We're done talking, but they haven't even started yet. I haven't started yet. And let's uh, all go pee-pee and then do post-show. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, there's Baby Yoda. Well, okay. Bye-bye, bye, everybody. Yeah, baby. <laughs>